Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Amstream, welcome to the Zypho Show this Friday evening and how are we all doing ladies and gentlemen, I hope we are all good and well. <clears throat> tonight we're doing a, a nice mix of stuff tonight, we've got a featured game, we've got, we're doing Amstrad game requests and we're also going to be doing a quiz night tonight and if you want to be in on that quiz you need to be in my Discord, exclamation mark Discord if you're not in it and we'll pull you in. Uh, depending on how many people we have, we might do groups, and I'll pull you in to the right groups and stuff there. But we'll be playing a, uh, a quiz, Amstrad quiz game tonight, probably Pop Trivia from Codemasters, because that works quite well. And, um, oh, oh, hurry up stream labs, I see something has come in. Come on, hurry up. Oh my god, stream labs is slow tonight. What's going on? Hmm. I saw something come in there from a very special gentleman. But Streamlabs hasn't picked it up. Bear with me, guys. Let me just reload that. That's a bit worrying. Well, this is an awkward start to the stream, then. Um... Yeah, why is the super chat not come through there? Oh god, don't get, don't do this to me tonight. <laughs> Donations enabled super chat. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna have to check something out here. Let me just test it. Sorry guys about this. Sorry. This is a test donation for £52.00. Yeah, that's a bit right. The test one works. Oh, God. This is getting me worried. Hmm. Let me log out and log in again. Sorry about this, guys. Hmm. Not the way I wanted to start the stream tonight. <laughs> Bear with me a second. Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. in there. Or Waddo, sorry. Oh, we've got to give him some Dancing Lord Sugars. And we'll give him some fireworks. I'm sorry, Lewis. That took a while. I'm sorry, guys, for the awkward start there. Lewis says, I've got that Friday Amstream feeling. Evening CPC lovers. 
<laughs> thank you, Lewis. Thank you. There we go. Some banana lots of bananas in the chat there. And uh, thank you, man, for the four ninety nine there. That is really, really awesome of you. Oh, hang on, you've done another one. But that hasn't appeared yet either. Testing, testing, one, two. I see it in the chat. But Streamlabs hasn't picked it up yet. Um, wow, either Streamlabs is really, 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 really slow tonight or something's a bit broken. Let me just hard refresh. I know this is not about gaming and stuff, guys. It's just that, like, if someone's going to be kind enough to do something like that, you know, I want to make sure, um, you know, they get properly thanked. Hmm. Yeah, it's still not appearing yet. Um, so, guys, if you, if, if you do want to do a dono tonight, please uh, use the Streamlabs link, the direct one, not, not Super Chat. Because um, uh, it looks like um, it's a bit broken at the moment. It'll work. It's wor it'll work, but it will just be like, looks like there's a massive delay. I'll see what happens in a minute. So what? We'll, okay, I'll carry on talking about what we're going to do tonight, and then uh, I'll see if I get Lewis's second one played. Um, do something about that. Thank you again, Lewis. Though much appreciated too. Um, so yeah, tonight we are doing our feature game tonight is Fiendish Freddy's Big Top of Fun. And it's kind of a multi-event, I was almost going to say multi-sport event, but it's all circus themed. So yeah, it's a bit like summer games and California games, track and field in a way. We've got a set number of events, um, players compete against each other, a bit of joystick waggling uh, and all that kind of stuff. But um, this one's circus themed. Now I'm not a fan of the circus, and I don't like clowns. I, uh, I'm not. I've not got a fear of clowns, but I've always been put off by that for this game, which is a shame because it is incredibly well presented and looks absolutely stunning. And um, it needs some more love, really. And the idea of this, we're going to get through, do a full play through the game tonight. And with the idea, I get a bit of practice in and I get a long play and review video done for the channel. So that's Fiendish Freddy. Then we will do some Amstrad game work. Oh! Yellow Bay! <laughs> oh, you really didn't have to, mate. Thank you. Testies, testies. One, two, three, eight, big boobies for the win. With a yellow belly, with a magical Testies, four, testies, six, four, 123, eight bit boobies for the win. <laughs> Let's see some bananas in the chat. That was, a, that was um, um, directly with the to uh, Streamlabs, not Super Chat. Uh, how quickly did that, did that take to come through, yellow belly? Yeah, like Lewis's second Super Chat still isn't appearing in my Streamlabs. But uh, let's just refresh. Well, thank you again, Yellow Belly. Thank you very, very much. I see the bananas rain raining down. Lovely, fantastic. Thank you, Yellow Belly. At least we know the uh, Streamlabs works perfectly. Uh, I'm just going to log out and log in again on Streamlabs and see if that will do anything. Yeah, it was in. Thank you, Yellow Belly. It was instant, was it? Yeah, so you can find the Streamlabs link in the description below if anybody does want to. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not touting the donos and stuff. I'm just. Uh... Oh, if I I've logged in and out again and it's fixed it. That's Lewis's second one. <laughs> Thank you, Lewis. Number 4.99 Thank you, man. That was the one from about God five minutes ago. So yeah, um, what I'll have to do is, if I see a one coming in the chat, I'll have to log out, log in again, and 
can replay it manually. That, that'll be a fix, but you just think nothing. Anyway, thank you, Lewis. Thank you, man. Sorry, guys. I don't like talking about donos and stuff. We're not here for donos. We're here for the games. We're here for Amstrad. We're here for, like, nostalgic memories. And we're here to take our mind off our real-life troubles and woes and hang out with a beautiful crowd of people and a lovely, lovely, awesome community. Um, so I'm going to get into the... Um, we're going to do the greetings and take the opportunity to welcome each and every one of you to the chat. Put the AMS chat logo up there. There we go. And first thing to, in the chat tonight was... Dem uh, Demetrius Papakos and he says good afternoon at 6.49 Oh! Oh! <laughs> hey! Pete Walker! <laughs> oh my god! Also with the magical 464 there! You can't pick them, well why not join them? If you can't beat them well, why not join them? <laughs> <laughs> thank you my friends thank you bananas in the chat please guys for the legend that is mr pete walker thank you my friends thank you very 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 much there much appreciated dude much appreciated <laughs> lots of love to the legend that is pete walker there um yeah i just need to check one thing quickly i think i'm gonna speed up the greetings tonight guys and only like to take a bit longer but we've been a bit delayed by things so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed through these tonight okay but we'll have a lot more chats with you each and every one of you tonight I'm sure so Demetrius welcome welcome thank you for joining in um yeah well I, apart from Phoenix Trini I don't know what games we're gonna be playing tonight Demetrius uh, Pete Walker was second in the chat there thank you again mate welcome welcome the gaming hamster is here and he just grabbed himself a sofa for the DFS sale. The permanent year-long year-long year, year long, uh, DFS sale that never ever ever ends. Welcome, gaming hamster. Welcome. Saboteur sneaks in, tries on the Chase HQ T-shirt and sneaks out. How did you guess? I'll be wearing this tonight. That saboteur. He's been sneaking around my house. Watch him get dressed. Are you sure you're not GP? Anyway, welcome, welcome. Craig Wilson, how you doing, man? Flops in chair. No, you were wrong again, Craig. I dived into my chair like a graceful panther. That's how I arrived. Close, close. Welcome, Craig, welcome. FC Den Haag is next. He got very wet uh, and soaked in a stormy day. He's all dried up now. Good stuff, man. Welcome to the stream, dude. Robin Hook, good evening, my friend, as well. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. Um... Now we've got Musa! Musa, good to see you again, buddy. Welcome, my friends, welcome. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good to see you, Musa. Always always likes uh, always lights up the things when I see you pop in. Lovely to see you here, mate. Yellow Belly's next to the chat there. Thank you again for the 464 as well, Yellow Belly. Lots of love to you too, dude. And uh, hope you're all hope you are doing okay, my friend. Ahoy, Johnny boy in the chat there as well. Good evening, Johnny. Welcome, my friend. Looking forward to top tips. Technic, how you doing, mate? Technic, I owe you a few replies in various places. I'm sorry. Extremely busy week this week, but Technic, much appreciated, my dude. And I will get back to you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, German78 moshing into the stream. Welcome, my friend. Hope your friend is okay and you can relax now and enjoy the AM stream. Welcome, dude. Welcome. Mrs. Zypho there in the chat, Kate White. Lots of love to Mrs. Zy there. Thank you, babe, as always, for everything you do. Paul Owen, good evening, my friend. Bonjour to you, or bonsoir, indeed. In fact, welcome, Paul. Um, we have Rainer Watch. Rainer, how you doing? And uh, hopefully this will be a nice distraction for you tonight, as always. Welcome, Rainer. Uh, we've got Brian Hooper. Welcome, Brian. Welcome, my friend. How are you all? How are you doing, dude? Looking forward to you joining in the quiz tonight. Rob DeLorean as well. Hello, my friend. Roaring into the stream in his gleaming DeLorean. How are you doing, sir? Uh, Gorka. Welcome, Gorka. How are you doing, sir, as well? And much love to you, my, my friend. Gordon Blues. He says, hi, Ams Pervs. I like that, as always. Welcome, Gordon. Good to see you back here again, mate, as well. Avacet Paneer as well. Welcome, my friend. He says, woo, Zyde. <laughs> Friday, Friday. Oh my goodness, love it. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <clears throat> uh, sorry, guys. 
Arnie the Viking as well. Good evening, Arnie. Welcome, my friend. <laughs> How's your ya ya ding dong? <clears throat> yes, Dukes. Good to see you back here on the Am stream, my friend. And uh, looking forward to seeing if you're joining in the quiz tonight as well, dude. I remember you were quite good on a previous quiz thing we did. Respergu, good evening, my friends. Respergu, how's tricks, dude? Thank you for your support as always, as well. Oh, Craig Wilson, I've just seen it pop up in the chat. Right, I'm gonna have to log out here. And we'll log in again. While we're doing that, see who's next. Retro Game Blow. Good evening, my friend. Nice to see you here as well. Beardo267, my OG mod. Hello, mate. And hello to Mrs. Beardo. She's watching. Oh, you both will be lurking tonight. Get in on the Discord and in on the quiz later, my dude. Right. Why is that not replaying? Oh! There we go. Mr. Craig Wilson. <laughs> the two fans of the Super Chat. <laughs> he says, you flopped youth, admit it. Ooh, you saying I'm old, an old codger, just flopping in the chair, making noises and like, oof noises. I was, a, I was a graceful panther getting in my chair tonight. Nonsense. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. Bananas in the chat, please, guys, to Craig. I know they've already come in as well a bit already. So thank you, Mr. Wilson. Thank you. Thank you. And much love to you, dude. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. And uh, all right, I better crack on, though. Uh, Taxi88, welcome, dude. And uh, Texie's been uploading lots of retro gaming videos to his channel, so I highly recommend you guys check them out. Um, Melodic Hard Rock Revival, how are you doing? Good to see you back here as well, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Oh, do I need to turn myself up a bit? I'm a bit quiet, apparently. A bit late seeing that. Thank you, Mrs. I. I've just put the, the mic volume up a little bit now. Maud and good evening, Maud. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you, dude. And we have the big Juffer here, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone, relax. Juffer is here. Welcome, dude. Welcome. Hope you're doing all right. And Juffer's been uploading a lot of uh, retro gaming videos to his channel. I've noticed as well, lots of shoot 'em up stuff. So check that out if you haven't already. Just turning my fan on behind me here. Um, right. Um, Let's scroll through. I'm going to have to scroll through quite quick now because we're quite delayed getting to games and stuff. Elite Aim is here. New Style Gaming is here. Welcome. It's Old Style Gaming Sun, by the way, so everyone behave. <laughs> welcome, Elite Aim. Hope your channel's doing all right. Welcome, welcome. Yasiak, good evening as well. Good to see you back here, dude. Welcome, my, my, welcome, my friend. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, Sean P as well. Good evening, Sean. Nice to see you here in the chat as well. Welcome. I hope you've had a nice week and your family is safe and well. Shadow Zero X, welcome to the stream. He says, "Ain't it copy news?" Uh, not sure what you mean by that, but like, uh, please clarify. <laughs> but welcome, my friends. Welcome to the stream. Um, oh, because yeah, my chat just rescrolled itself. Uh, oh bloody hell! All right, I think I'm nearly where I am need to be. If I miss anyone, I do apologise. Right, uh, right, I know where I am now. Thank you for the request of Phoenix Freddy Johnny Boy. <laughs> um, hey, indispensable P guy, welcome to the stream. Is this your first time here tonight? Um, if so, please let us know and we'll give you a big Amstream welcome here. Never played this one back in the late 80s. Me neither. Me neither. Um, I, I was always put off by the box art. I thought the box art looked, looked horrible. And I never liked clowns. Not that I'm scared of them, but yeah. That's why I've avoided this for years. It's a shame. It's a brilliant game. Oh, Channel Zero's X says, Control Alt Delete never fails except when it does. Okay, right. <laughs> Uh, Mikey Smith, alive. Good evening. 
Welcome, my friends, and hello to Jane if she's with you as well. Um, are you going to be joining in? in uh, are you gonna, guys going to be joining in, in the quiz later? I hope so. Um, no pressure, though. <laughs> you might want to chill. It's cool. Hey, Novabug is here. Welcome, welcome. Oh, how was your? How did your AMS cast go, Novabug? Hope it went well. And welcome, Chris. Please let the chat know if you're indeed streaming tomorrow night, so people all know about it here. That might not. Um, right. Scrolling through. Jimmy Taylor. Good evening. He says, "Hope you're all right. Hi, Zyper from me and Jane. Hope you're well uh, too, pal. Hi, hi, Jane as well." Um, Jimmy, good to see you, mate. Lovely positivity and lovely to have you here. Are you going to be joining in the quiz tonight? Okay. Uh, classic replay. Replay. Good evening as well. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I agree with you earlier that this should have been Vintage Freddy should have been on the GX4000. It would have made a very good cart. <laughs> Pixel Z80, welcome to the stream. I believe you might be new here. Uh, I'm going to assume so, or maybe first time in the chat. So if everyone could tag Pixel Z80, he's got the right CPU, and give him a big am stream. Hello! I'm going to do one there in the chat. Welcome, Pixel. Welcome to the stream and the community here. OMG OSG is here. Welcome. OSG, new style gaming's in the chat as well. <laughs> Welcome, dude. Welcome. Hope all is good with you. Steve P as well. Good evening, my friend. God, so many people to greet this evening. Welcome, welcome as well. <clears throat> uh, Darren Connor, good evening as well, mate. And uh, it's all your fault for um, Ya Ya Ding Dong. <laughs> right, I think I'm pretty much caught up. If there's anyone I miss saying hello to, please say hello again in the chat and I'll give you a welcome. Mm. Right. <clears throat> right, let's get rid of the uh, AMS chat logo. And we are going to get on with the first game tonight. Right, we'll get rid of the thumbnail. There we go. Right. <clears throat> Nish, CPC game reviews. Good evening, my friend. Good evening. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I'm Craig Harrison. Hello, matey. Did I miss you in the chat? If so, I apologise. But there's so much chat, I just have to. I just have to scroll through. <laughs> right. Um. Okay. I need to get up the manual for this game because there's some. I'll talk about it when we get there. Right. Okay. Right. I'm good. Right. We're well, fiendish ready. Let's get this thing rolling. <laughs> Thank you everyone for giving Pixel Z80 a welcome. Um, so I hope you feel nice and welcomed here. <laughs> Z80, with the Z80, you're in the right place. Um, I car, uh, I Kranaka, I Kranaka, Krananka, I Krananka. God, could you pick an easier username <laughs> to pronounce? <laughs> Welcome, says hello. Uh, although I prefer OSG to you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> of course you're kidding. Of course you are kidding. <laughs> I believe. Oh, copy protection here. One second. I think it's hand. Marvelous. There we go. Welcome, Ikrananka. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Amstream. Oh! Oh! I believe that is a Gorka. El Banino. <laughs> Banino. With the two pounds. Let's give him a dancing sugar and some fireworks. Bananas may be considered a mood enhancer because Banana it facts. contains the amino acid tryptophan. Hmm. And vitamin B6 that helps the body produce serotonin. There we go. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I believe that was Gorka there with the banana facts. Can we have some bananas in chat for a uh, Gorka there? I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's Gorka. Thank you, my friends. Thank you very, very, very much, as always, for the uh, very insightful banana knowledge. Thank you, banana man. Hey, we have a Daniel Ibbotson, aka Slopes Game Room. How are you doing, uh, sir? Welcome. The stream my friend how have you been 
And uh, what have you got interesting coming up on your channel? Feel free to uh, do some plug-in. <laughs> and, um, oh, I need to speak to you, Slopes. Uh, I wonder if you... You asked if I would do a voiceover. I've actually got something I need voiceovers for. On one, uh, and a big, big video I've got coming up. I'm wondering if you might want to be interested in doing a short, take you 30 seconds, um, doing the voice of someone from Amstrad. Um, I'll talk to you on Discord or something. Um, and, uh, oh, we've got some new, uh, more people arriving. Rachel McGowan, how are you doing? Yeah, copy protection from the manual. I only stopping by to say hi because I'm off to watch TV. No worries, dude. No worries. And fix your caps lock. <laughs> Sharif Ben Ali, how are you doing as well? Welcome to the stream, my friends. Welcome. Good to see you here. And Krusty Juggler UK, that clown face haunted my youth. Wow. Well, with a name like that, I'm surprised. Welcome, though. Welcome to the stream. Um, is there a particular reason you haven't made your good lady wife a mod? <laughs> One, she's not my wife yet. And two, she can't be trusted. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pause the music there. Let's get Fiendish Freddy up and running. Yes, I will do it. Excellent. Confirmed. Everyone's seen it. You can't back out now. <laughs> Ooh. No worries, Dan. Take care, man. Lost up to the wife there as well. Pop the music down a little bit. Hopefully that's all right. One second. Right, good stuff. Rachel, how are you doing anyway? Good to see you. And thank you so much for becoming a Patreon. I don't know if you saw the Patreon post, but we gave you a big shout out in the um, Patreon post last Sunday. I hope you, hope you like that. <laughs> OSG. It's true though. It's true. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to turn off the disk drive sounds because it seems to be playing. Because... Yeah, anyway. Always love your enthusiasm, Zypha. You cheered up my day in no end. Oh, thank you. I, I cran anchor. I cran anchor. I'll get there in the end. With the name. There we go. Created by Chris Gray. Uh, he also did like games like Infiltrator and other big games. The Commodore 64. OSG might know him. There we go. Uh, coding by Axel. Axel Rose? Graphics by Christy Louise Hurd. She has done some stunning graphics here. Beautiful Traitor was too blooming hard. Yeah, it's a tough game. I have beaten it, Jeremy, many, many years ago. I did a long play video of it on my channel, so you can go and watch that. It is like, like an hour to two hours long. Look at this! Animation stuff. It's almost like a cartoon on your Amstrad. Right, the story there is that... Oh, yeah, yeah, it'll tell you here. So there's a bank load been made to the top of uh, the circus for $10,000, and it's due tonight. And basically, you're going to take part in loads of circus events, and you've got to raise enough money to pay off this bank load. So you've got to earn $10,000 in one night. There we go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Let me just pause up there. We've got. Uh, I need to turn off disk drive sounds. It sounds like the disk is currently running. Anyway, so there you go. Like the humour already. Um. So yeah, the per that's the premise of the game. So I think there's six or seven events. I think six events. Sorry. 
and you get a, a score from a judge, or a, a panel of judges at the end of each event. And um, I, might, I might turn the volume down just a touch more. Um, and when they judge you, there, depending on how well you did, the more money you make and so forth. Very simple. But someone from the bank has come to sabotage you. They have sent Fiendish Freddy, and he comes and makes a nuisance, nuisance of himself in each of the events. And uh, and he does something different each time. So we've got to watch out for the Fiendish Freddy. No, I am not Mrs. Zypho, good lord. Uh, Pixel, um... Oh no, sorry, Dimitris. Um, I work in the IT tech industry, I think. I'll keep it like that, it's too complicated to explain. Um, like the web hosting industry and domain names and stuff like that. And uh, web things. Oh, I also do DJ as a second like job outside of work. There you go. <laughs> do you like circuses? No, I don't. Um, I don't particularly... Like, uh, animal circuses should be a thing of the past now, in my opinion. And, um... As the actual circuses, trapeze, trapeze artists and stuff like that. I admire their skill and talent, but not really for me. This is why I've been kind of put off this game for so many years. I don't like clowns, I don't like circuses. But it's a shame because this is actually a really, really, really good game. Haha, <laughs> German! I support Newcastle United, so I'm well used to circuses. <laughs> right. The weird and the wonderful, welcome to the Amstream. It says, uh, playing the Amiga version was such a pain. Why was that? What was wrong with the Amiga version? I've never, I've never tried it. Uh, was there any other questions there? But, uh, I Kranananka, thank you for the nice comment there about the enthusiasm. I hope it rubs off a bit tonight on everyone. <laughs> but, yes, Raspergu, let's go! So that's working. Cool. Yeah, we'll have one player. And you can choose an animal character to represent you. It's like an av this is like an avatar. So uh, we could be the cool tiger with the drink. Oh, that's an elephant. The thinking angry dog. The cheeky monkey. Or the uh, whatever that is. Yeah, I think I'll be the cool cheater. We'll take this beat. Look how lovely and well presented this is. Oh, well, uh, oh, animal circus was gone as of January 2020. I didn't, I didn't know about that. I think they're best left in the past, aren't they? There we go. So. Hey, Mame Hayes, good evening, sir. Welcome, my friends, welcome. So, what's what's this event called? This is called High Diving. High Diving. Yeah, stunt circuses are totally fine and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jace as well, good evening, my friends. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I am just going to, just in case, we're going to take snapshots. Um, there are, I had a little playthrough earlier. And I think there are a couple of events we're going to struggle in. And we want to get to the end. So, um, yeah. Right. Okay, the skydiving event. What you have to do in this one, guys, is um, pull off different moves when you're skydiving. And you have to memorise it from the manual. Um, actually, let me just bring up... Oops, excuse me. Let me just bring up this quickly. I'll get a display cap going. Yeah, so you might not see it very well there. This is part of the manual. So you have to remember what these moves are and how you pull them off by pushing the direction of the joystick. So one criticism I do have this game is that you have to have the manual like handy with you whilst playing the game for a few events, which to me, that's always a no-no. You should never have to be forced to have a manual, not unless you're doing like a, a sim event or something like that. You know, a sim uh, you know, a flight simulator or something like that. Oh, is this a display catch? Okay, built there. Right. Oops. Is that right? There we go. That's better. Browser capture. Yeah. So, um, unless you're doing a flight sim, you should never have to have a manual next to you. That's kind of my rule of thumb. There are exceptions, but there you go. Claude Rains, Darren, how you doing, mate? As well. Good evening, my friends. 
He hates clowns too. Right. Okay. So I need to get my manual up here and we'll get into this. So what you're doing is you're climbing up a tower and you're diving up. You've got to land in the bucket at the bottom. And in, in the top left, it will tell you what move you're going to be doing next. Now, to, when, when you dive off here, what you're going to do is like a slow waggle left and right to build up your diver's speed. And then in the top left corner, it will flash when you're going fast enough to pull off the move. And you've got to pull it off straight away by pushing the direction. Nose pinch is down and right, for example, and you've got to do it straight away and hit the fire button. If you take too long, Fiendish Freddy comes and he will blow you off course. And by the time you reach the bottom, you've got to make sure you're lined up with the bucket. So that thing in the bottom left corner there, here, is like where you're going to be landing in the bucket. So you've got to get that lined up as well. So, okay, you'll get, you'll get it, you'll get it. Right, off we go. So this might, might not go well, but we'll try. Actually, I might do keyboard for this one, it's easier. Right. There we go. Got my first move. One dive is next. I only got a chance to pull off two moves there because we started from the, 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 the lowest rung on the ladder there. So that was perfect, basically. We got two moves off, but there wouldn't be time for a third move. So, And then we move on to level two of this. So there's four levels on each of these sections. Usually three or four sections per level. And as you can see from the arrow in the far right there, we're now up halfway up the halfway up that bloody thing. And um, okay, and now the bucket has got smaller. If you check out the bottom left corner, like thing there. Yeah, it's a bit like the cliff diving event in World Games and also Epic's World of Sports on the GX. Yeah. Uh, you requested this game two weeks ago. See, FC. I didn't forget. It's been in my mind. So, I do get round to them. <laughs> right, King Tut, which is fire and right on the joystick. There we go. Dive Bomb is directly down. Swan Dive is up. got three moves pulled off there so it's not too bad <laughs> lands in the bucket there oh, great animation there lovely music in this game and really lovely bright colorful graphics they're, they're not they're not the most detailed graphics i've ever seen they are a bit blocky in places but i think the presentation is absolutely fan fan fantastic Oh, Pixel, you've got to go, have you? No worries. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you had a nice time, if, if, uh, only briefly here, and then we'll see you back again soon. All right. Thank you, Pixel. Take care and good night, dude. Right, okay. Uh, yoga is fire and left. Right, here we go. Swan dive is fire and up. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Come on! Dive bomb is fire and down. Come on! I don't know if I got the right move there. All right, we landed on a concrete block, and apparently he's all right, and that was good. Okay, right. <laughs> right, level four. Oh, yeah, I think we did all right. I think we'll move on to level four. I was wondering whether to retry that level. I was struggling to get my speed up there and get it to where I could pull off a move, but oh well. Pike is up and right. Right, here we go. What time would the quiz be? I can say until about midnight. Um, we'll see how Fiendish Freddy goes. Uh, I'll try and get it started before 11, I'd say. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I don't want to be as late as midnight doing it, so. All right, here we go, Pike. 
Screw that up. I'll start that again. That's it. Pike Swan Dive is up. Well, my fingers are hurting now. Ballet's down and left. Haha! <laughs> nice pose! Nose pinches down and right. Brilliant. Pike is up and right. Dive bomb down. Ah, oh, it's too late. Is that enough to get in the teacup? <laughs> I don't think we did too bad there. I don't think we did too bad. So when we do the quiz, guys, it's going to be um, general general questions, but we're going to do it from an Amstrad game. So uh, not game specifically about the Ams, uh, not questions specifically about the Amstrad. But I will do one like that another time. But that might have to be on Twitch, where I can create my own quiz. Right, there we go. Here come the judges. Let's see what we get. I think, are they, are they not happy or are they happy? I don't know. Hmm, what do we get? I think that's actually quite a good score. 18,000. Let me just check this from my notes because I was watching someone else do a long play. Um, odd set, guys. Uh, I just want to see if I'm on par or on course here. Hmm. Oh, I'm way above. Like, uh, the guy who's done a long play on YouTube did got about 1,500, 1,600. I got 1,800. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a happy boy with that. Okay. Let's crack on. Um... But I will do that classic replay. Uh, oh, it's G. That's really nice. He says, nothing uh, is better than Zypho streams. That's why I turn up every week. Oh, bless you, dude. Bless you. Thank you, man. That's really kind of you to say so. Um. Oh, right. It's juggling then. Uh, Sharif Ben Ali, take care, mate. Good night. Thanks for tuning in, dude. We'll hopefully catch you again another AM stream. Hey, OJBs, welcome to the stream as well, my friend. Anyone heard of a game, uh, Monj Kalu by Ubisoft for Amstrad? No, I haven't. Probably a French only game, that's probably why it's not on my radar. Mm. Right, thank you, Lewis. Yeah, that was a good start, really good start. Uh, and we'll take a quick snapshot here, just in case. This one's, this event is a little bit tough. We're juggling. And the controls are a little confusing here. At some point you want to toss these one of these items up in the air. And you have to throw it from your right hand. Like that. Oh bugger. Let's do that again. Oh, Joffa, with the bad jokes there, the dad jokes. 
And yes, I shouldn't have said the word toss. It's going to open up a whole thing in the chat there. <laughs> have a set. Yes, this is the one that Mini Zyfo absolutely loved watching me play earlier. He was in hysterics watching Daddy play this uh, level earlier. So, we're going to keep these up in the air. Kind of stuck in this corner a little bit, but... Yes! There you go. So a, there was a timer top right, and we survived that for that whole time. But we didn't drop anything, so good tossing there. <laughs> I'm a very, very good tosser. Crazy Borg! Hey, dude, I've missed you, man. How up the devil have you been, dude? Oh, you lit me up by seeing your name pop up there. How's tricks, man? <laughs> Rumours of your death were greatly exaggerated. Oh, man. Good to see you, mate. How have you been? How have you been, dude? <laughs> oh, God, is that another dad joke there from FC Den the Hog? Moving swiftly on! <laughs> Naughty sea lion. Now, don't worry about knives. They never, like, end up stabbing you or anything like that. Treat them like normal objects. That is like a torchy thing. I've screwed up. I didn't want to do that. Oh no! Let's try that again. I messed up on the controls there. Did you rate this 7 out of 10 on CPC Game Reviews? Uh, are you talking about a different game? Uh, dish. Oh, the other reason I'm playing this game, because I've just bought it off eBay as well, this one. No! Oh, God! I've got the controls mix mixed. Yeah, messed up there. Right, let's try that again. Oh, no! You got crazy ball. Sorry to hear that, dude. Oh, I totally, totally understand, mate. Totally. Hey, man, if you ever wanted to chat and stuff, remember, my DMs are always open, dude. Well, hopefully we can take your mind off things tonight, mate. And, yeah, that's the purpose of streams like these. Give you a bit of respite from what's happening in, you know, real world stuff. Oh, that's a bomb. I've got to catch that. Damn it. I dropped an item. I think I'll carry on. Otherwise, we're doing quite well. So when you catch a bomb, you have to do a different control to... How am I supposed to catch that? Bugger. We'll try that again. And we'll do it. Hey, Retro and Lim. How are you doing, mate? As well, in work, we'll be in and out during the night. No worries. No worries, dude. Hey, Steve, how you doing, man? I was, I was looking forward to you being part of the quiz, actually. <laughs> But it's really nice to see you back, uh, Crazy Borg. And uh, yeah, as I said, hopefully we, we can be a, a, a distraction. And uh, hopefully a nice one. I tell you what, if you're still here after this game and we start doing requests, you may have the first request of the night, Crazy. Oh no! God damn it! There's, a, there's supposed to be a control. You see where they, um, um, the the uh, juggler's arms went in like that? That's only supposed to happen when you do fire and down. And you can catch things that are close to his body. So I'm shifting between fire and left, fire and right, fire and left, fire and right. And occasionally he sort of does that move in between and then gets stuck there if you don't push the direction hard enough. 
Um, that's not really supposed to happen according to the controls. And uh, that's a bit annoying. Anyway. <laughs> RSG says this is like my everyday life. <laughs> Juggling a lot of things. Yes, I hear you. <laughs> Jez asks, you fail as much. <laughs> Question is, can we catch both? God damn it, that's unlucky. Both items are coming down at the same time. Oh, you, uh, Nish, you gave Finish Freddy 9 out of 10. That sounds more like it. I was a bit surprised you would have given it 7. <laughs> Line's been lured away by some fish there. That's when we know there's probably a bomb coming from Fiendish Freddy. There he is. Firing up to get rid of the bomb. There we go. I think we've got it going on at the moment. All right. God damn it. All right, I'll carry on. Yes! We survived just there. I'll, I'll, uh, I dropped one item, but we'll carry on. I think we're going to get enough score from this. I'm trying to do as well as possible so we get the maximum amount of score and money earned. That's, that's the whole point of it there. But that was pretty good. We got rid of the bomb as well. So if you catch the bomb, it's firing up. That's a special control to get rid of the bomb. And that, and that will get you mega points. I think this is the last level of this stage. No, actually, I think there's four levels, actually. But now on this level, we may get a baby come on. And you've got to catch the baby and then throw the baby into the buggy that appears. Yes, that's right. Believe it or not. And basically, you want to throw an item when the net, when the item that's in the air hits the ceiling, basically, if you can. That's a missile. You can't get rid of it like the bomb. So you just have to keep juggling it to the end of the level. Hopefully the baby will land in the push chair here. I'm going to take a risk. No, the baby didn't land. So we're going to get severely penalized for that. So we'll restart that. It's going on. It's all going on in this game, Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> Some days you can't get rid of a bomb. How ph philosophical. Uh, philosophical. Philosoph I can't pronounce it. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying, crazy world. <laughs> I don't know what it is, guys. Sometimes there are some words that I just trip over and I cannot say. No, oh god, I screwed up. Sorry, guys. Philosophic, philosophic. Oh, I can't say it. I, there are some words I just just cannot say for some weird reason. <laughs> Moving on. Philosophical. There, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Germans can't say they can't say squirrel. Really? Mm. 
No! Oh, fart, man. This is tough. Thank you, chat, for helping me out there. Hey, uh, James, Jim Bob Smith, welcome to the stream. This is Fiendish Fe Freddy's A Big Top of Fun. And I will bloody get past this level. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Welcome to the stream, uh, stream James. Is this your uh, first time here? If so, let us know and we'll give you a big Amstream welcome. Yeah, I screwed that up again. I can't. Ugh! This game. Oh, you've been here before. I think I recognise the name. But hello, hey James, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome back. So many names to remember. I'm sure you can imagine. There's only one hand that you throw from. Throw! God damn these controls! It's gonna get bloody, bloody difficult and annoying. Concentrate, I yeah. I was doing well the first time on this level, and it's all gone a bit uh, pot, actually. You are playing some Sultan's Maze earlier, were you, James? Oh, good times, dude. Good times. Yeah, I've screwed it up again. Bloody hell! It's weird how you throw items. You've got to sort of go left, right like that to chuck them. Now I guess that's what's putting me off a bit. Right, come on. bomb as well. Bloody hell. Alright, we're doing better. We're doing better. <laughs> I need to chill. Absolutely. Okay. Play on your Mac on an emulator. Hey, nothing wrong with that, but yeah, nothing beats the real CRT. Okay. Can I catch? Oh, screw it. I dropped one. Uh-oh. Got the baby there. We dropped a couple of items. I'm, I'm just going to carry on, guys. I'm losing the will to live. I hope the baby lands in the carriage. If it doesn't... Yes! We've got the baby in the carriage. How the frick am I supposed to... Ca oh, no! Oh no, I dropped the bomb. Oh. oh, I survived! I dropped the bomb, but I survived just in time. Woo. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm not redoing that level. 
this tune never gets old. I know it's getting. A, I know it might be getting a bit annoying, but we will. Um, this is the last level here of this one. Just try and get this tune out of your head before bedtime. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, there's that baby. I don't know if it's going to end up in the carriage or not here. Should we risk it? No. Right, we'll try that again then. I don't think that baby's going to get in the carriage on the first row. Lucas Rainford, good evening, my friend. How are you doing? Good to see you again, buddy. That poor baby, though. We'll get the baby in the next cat, uh, push chair that comes along. Oh. He's not going to get in it. No. Oh, damn it. Just going to straight away reload there because we've got to get that right. Never know, we might be able to get the baby in the push chair. Uh oh, I'm, no, I'm gonna get caught out here. Oh god. And I'm losing, I'm actually losing viewers from this bloody level doing it over and over. Oh well, oh well. <laughs> we'll get through this, we'll get through it. That maybe, maybe the baby might go in. No, baby missed. Bugger. Neutrino Fire, how you doing, mate? Welcome, my friends, welcome. How's it going? So we know that the pram comes on too quickly. Doesn't matter how far over to the left you get and how quickly you throw the baby won't land in this pram. What? Oh. If I fail on this attempt, I'm muting the music and putting my own on for a bit until we beat this bloody level. Alright, that's my promise, guys. This is reviewing A8 issue 52. All right. Do you remember what score they gave this? Bro, the baby might not make it into the pram here, so... I'm, I'm, I'm taking off the sounds for, a, for the, the music here for a little bit. They got an AA award. Uh, was it an AA rave award or a master game award? Right, guys, I'm, I'm going to give your eardrums a rest from the music here. Are you thankful? I'll, try, I'll, I'll give the baby one more try here so I can get him in. I think he's going to miss the pram. Yeah, I missed the pram. Master game, there you go. That makes more sense. It's got to be a 90% game. Just for the presentation alone. 
The music is actually really good. It's just got very um, repetitive there. We'll try getting the baby in again. That would save us a lot of R sake. No, failed. I can still hear the music. The damage is done. Oh dear. Do we know how to turn off the notification sound in Discord? It's just in the settings, uh, Lucas. Uh, I think there's a separate one for sounds and notifications. I can't remember. I'm sure someone will sort it, yeah. Yes! We got the baby in! That's going to make make this level a lot easier. In fact, screw it. I'm taking a snappy here. I can't be asked doing this all night long. Got the bomb here. Catch it. Throw it. Ha <laughs> ha ha. This should be a good run now. Should be. Oh, God, we've got another baby. Come on. Oh, I missed one. What? How did I miss that green ball? Huh? Missed another one. And the baby didn't get in the pram there. I'll reload from here. That was all going really, really well there. Woo! Right, there's the green ball I missed earlier. How the far am I supposed to catch both things? I'll have to take the drop there. I'm going to assume the baby's going to land in there. Yes! Oh! I missed that one there. I'm going to lose a lot of score for that. But I've only got... 14 seconds. What? I think I'll carry on. And see what score. There we go. We did it there. Oh, that poor baby. <laughs> right, I'll turn the sound back on. We'll see what score we get, and I'll, I'll double check if it's in, enough to get us. If we're on, if we're on par. Oh, we're going to the disc here. Hang on. The uh, fiendish Freddy side B. God, that was painful. Now judging player one. I think they seem to like it. It's hard to tell. Twenty two thousand gives us forty odd thousand. I think that's good. Let me just double check that. Yeah, I think 22,000 is the maximum you can get. So the guy who did the long play, he was on about 30, uh, 3,800, sorry, 3,800. Uh, and we're on 4,800, like 4,027. So yeah, we're good. We're good. We're moving on to the next level. Thank Christ for that. <laughs> right. In there now, mate. Can't see out. I'll have to help you off. Oh, you sorted it. All good stuff. Oh, it's the trapeze here. Right, okay. Right, I'll take a snapshot there quickly. Right, there we go. 
Now this is quite simple, push left to swing left, push right to swing right, press fire button at the right time to jump onto the next rope that's coming. But if you take too long, Fiendish Freddy will arrive in a, uh, a well appear in a jetpack. I might have done this too early. Ha! The splat. not good. Oh god. Poor girl. <laughs> At least we don't have the irritating tune from the juggling. Now you got a whole new irritating tune. <laughs> Volume's good tonight, Lucas. Good stuff, good stuff. Not made any changes, actually. <laughs> Difficult was going to make that jump there. It looked a bit dicey, didn't it, Retro Game Bloke? Hey, we got through that. And there we go, that's the end of the first section, first level of this section. I think there's three levels on this section. Okay, here we go. No, I've screwed that. All right, try that again. I think you can do it straight from the off. Ha <laughs> not quite. You wait a few seconds, then go. Hey! Oh, I have to go straight again on the second one. I have to wait. Be patient. Can't be too patient because Fiendish Freddy will come along and cause you cause you mischief. Here he comes. He's got a pair of scissors with him. He's just fine in the background at the moment, but next time I think he'll fly right across the screen in line with you. I think if I jump, I'm not going to make it. Timing's all weird. I better no. I'm not gonna do it. Bugger. Ah, let's try again. Ruben! Oh, is it Ruprim? Ruprim, have you had a name change? Good evening, sir. Welcome, my friend. If it Is it you, Ruprim? You got the same avatar. I've got R U at the start of your name as well. <laughs> Spam in the save states. I know, I know. I mean, I, I have. You get a couple of chances per level anyway. Just easier to do. Quicker. Ah, oh, you can't. You can't jump off on your first swing attempt. Interesting.
Oh, Ruben's your real name. Ruben's a cool name, as OSG says there. No! Splat. <laughs> uh, what the hell's that in the background? Uh, I'm not quite sure. What do you reckon, chat? What's those little things bumbling about there on the screen? Below my feet at the moment. <laughs> no kidding, Technic. Do a snappy here. Oh, man. That timing seems very, very weird there. Could be a marching band. Good idea, Brian. Could be clowns of a safety net. But I don't see the safety net. Right, let's try it. Oh, yeah. I think I've got it. Oh! If you want me to take a snappy there, I can do. There we go. It's this one that was uh, a bit off. Let's do it now. Yay! There we go. Right. I'm going to do it this time. Woo! Hey, there we go. There we go. Why was that so... Why did that give me so much trouble there? That's not too bad at all. Okay. Level three. I think that is the last... This is the last level for this, so thank God. Um... That's definitely a band of the lead by a conductor. I think Moose has got it right there. I'm going with Moose. <laughs> and Crazy Bog, more detail there. I think we've um, I think we've proven it's a it's a marching band. And that is ah, that is definitely an elephant. <laughs> Lewis. There's a pile of broken women on the floor of the big top. <laughs> yes. Uh oh. I hit the top of the fiery ring. so high up. Okay, I'll get this. I'll get this. Oh! What? You've got to be dead center, haven't you? Burns, burns, burns the ring of fire. That was close. Not this time. That will swing away from me. Panic there. I'll take a snappy there. Uh, yeah, 
probably wise not to jump then. Oh, the ring moved up, didn't it? That naughty ring of fire. Hey, Mr. Ben Nichols, how are you doing, sir? Welcome, my friend. Oh, so close. I've yet to see that Todd Browning film, Freak Show. Very, very, very famous old movie. I will one day, Claude. Let's go for it. No, the ring moved again. Try it. Nice to see Zypho's big top. Off oh, fun as well, Mikey. Ooh. <laughs> Is the airwolf copter indoors again? <laughs> Good lord. It is Airwolf August still. I think I'm going to have to wait there. I took a little s snapshot just a second ago. Oh, for God's sake! It's not nowhere near close. Feels like I'll be swinging here for an eternity just to get the timing right. Screw it, let's try it. Oh, God, she's... How you doing, Mikey, anyway? What's new with you, dude? How's tricks, man? Yeah, I'm gonna hit the edge of the ring if I swung there. Maybe I'll take a snappy here. Every freaking time I hit. Please, for the love of God, yes, thank you. God, that last ring was horrible. It burns, burns, burns. That ring of fire. Good Lord. Right, we did it. Not, uh, not bad, man. Trying to keep busy. Good stuff. Good stuff, Mikey. <laughs> busy boy. Whoop! Thank you, Lewis. Right, let's see how we did. I'm being judged. Anyway, the idea of this tonight really was to uh, me to get through the game, practice it, and then I'm going to come back and do like a proper a long play video of it. Oh, six two uh, six thousand two hundred dollars. We're very close to the ten thousand dollar mark. So yeah, this is the idea. I don't mind using like a few snapshots tonight. Uh, it's just it's get through the game, learn it a bit, uh, get a bit of practicing, and then in a I don't know a couple of months time we'll get a uh, long play done of this. Oh, it's the knife throwing event. So uh... where did you see Fozzie Bear Bride as one of the judges? I missed that. It could be Fozzie. Right, this one's oh. So what I tend to do is get the knife at the bottom here. Right, get it about there. Got one, got one. Second yellow one we're going. Too early. Huh? 
Yes, we've got all the yellow balloons. So they've got the two. Got one. Yes, that one more balloon to go here. Oh no, I stabbed her. I got all the balloons. Let's go. She only got stabbed once. <laughs> Hey, Wayne Jordan. Good evening, Wayne. How you doing, dude? Good to see you, man. How's Strix? Yellow belly. Good Lord. <laughs> Got one. Right, next we'll go for the yellow balloon next. Got it. Right, we're gonna go for that. Yes, there we go. So what I do, guys, if I just pause it here, uh, I, I keep my knife around about here, and say I'm going for this one, I, I throw it when it's about in line here. So I keep my knife here, and then I throw when that, say this ball that's come from around here, it's got to here, come around, and got to about this point, but if you start your throw when it's there, by the time it comes round, it should be meeting the knife. There's your top tip, right? You go from the outside there, and when it's like a, a 45 degree, 90 degrees away from you, that's when you want to throw. So, bit out of a miss there. Not to worry. My knife isn't um, angled properly at it, so we need to go a bit left there. Got it! That one. Let's get this brown balloon lined up. What a knife about there. Got it! And we did it! And we didn't stab her once! Let's go! <laughs> Jenny got stabbed once. Sounds like a successful date in London. <laughs> Probably. Um, is this a snuff movie simulator? Says Harris G. Good lord. I could have turned it into one, but I've done uh, I've done quite well. I've only stabbed her once, and we got this is the last level of this one. Right, it's easy to visualise the knife here at the at the bottom of the plane area. Right, wait for that one to come round. Damn it! Threw it too early. I'll go for the next yellow one. I'm just making sure the knife is lines up with it. Got it. Right, you go for the white one with the red stripe through it. Next. Got it. Now there's a lot more balloons now close to the poor lady. Don't worry about Finji's Freddy frame bombs. It just it's just distracting. That's all. Yeah. Actually, we'll go, I think we we'll use. I think we'll do it up here. It might be easier to. Oh no! Stabbed her. But right, maybe we'll go here. Getting the knife lined up. Got it! Got another one there. No! 
No, I stabbed her again. Every and again. If you end up stabbing her, you lose two of your knives. Fifteen seconds. Damn it. Got one. Two seconds left. I've got to run out of time here. Ah! Right, we'll try that level again there. We're doing, we were doing well there, but never mind. Is that the same woman that gets saved by Rag Red Cop? <laughs> right, I'll have to be a little bit quicker here. Right, I'll go for that yellow one. Got it. Oh, that is really annoying. Okay. Oh, missed it. Damn. Got it. Cool, got that one. And now it's just these in the middle here. Got another balloon. Sweet. Uh oh. Find the safest point to throw. Out. Not one. Uh-oh, I hit her again. Got another though. Right, I'll go for the white one, the purely white one that's lining up me. Night. Okay. Got it. Two more to go. Red one next. I can get this. Yay! That should be all of them. Yes, let's go. There we go. She only lost two pints of blood. <laughs> Here come the judges. All right, let's see what we get here tonight then. We get... Like ten, if it's like a thousand or two thousand, oh six, oh six thousand. Oh no, plus two, I'm sorry, plus two thousand takes us up to eight thousand three hundred odd. So we've got to get ten thousand dollars. Uh, what event number was that? Event three or four? So we're very close to completing it already. The tight rope, this one absolutely sucks. Marbles, it's oh god. This is going to be tough. This is my, probably my least favourite level. Oh, this is level five. So we could actually could probably get enough money just from this level. Uh, what was bugging you, Jez? Sorry. Um, oh, the Finger of Fudge song. <laughs> okay, I'm, I, missed a, I missed a whole discussion there somewhere. This and then the cannon right. Yeah, I think the next one is the last level. Thank God. Cheats do prosper. <laughs> well, this is more. We're just playing. I'm playing it through. Right. So you push forward and then push left and right to balance yourself. I would always concentrate on the top left there, on the um, the little man with the bar on the top left. First one's done all right, but on this levels two and three of this, Fiendish Freddy starts appearing, 
and he throws saw blades at you and uh, they're very very hard to deflect uh, as I've, it's the music now what's that sorry Jez what did I miss there sorry oops There's Fiendish Freddy. And he knocked me off. Son of a bitch. Sometimes he'll try and knock you off. Other times he'll throw a um, circular saw blade at you. Oh, I was right there. Oh, and I fell off. Mr. Simon Osborne, good evening, Flibble San. How you doing, dude? Um, Sorry, mate, I'm bad. I think I need an early night. Today was a hard day, night. Oh, looking forward to seeing the end of this as I can never complete it. Hey, no worries, Nish. Take care, dude. You get some sleep, mate. You deserve it, dude. And nice having you here, mate, as always. Very respected member of the Amstrad scene. Oh, he threw a saw blade and cut me in half right at the end there. What a what a git. Kevhal, good evening, mate, as well. How you doing? Oh, you've been are you been here ages, Simon. Sorry if I missed you in the chat earlier, mate. I'm, I'm my apologies, dude. Bloody hell, look how quickly you can die as well. Sorry. What you were eating. Ah, so you weren't in the chat earlier. I got chopped in half. Good lord, I hate this. The balancing bit is hard enough. It's made worse by this bloody fiendish ready. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Stand still there. Because you have to be at a bit of a distance to deflect the um, circular saw blades. If you're too close to Freddy, it doesn't connect defending uh, the pole, defending the saw blade. Do you have to press fire to do the defense move? What? I don't know why I died there. What killed me there? What? This looks like you on a Friday night. Hey, 80s retro gamer. What? You are. Oh, yes, you came across um, me this week on my uh, Solar Coaster video. I remember your comments. You said you, you liked the video and you subscribed. And here you are on the uh, Amstream. Welcome, my friend. I think I think it's your first time here, then, therefore. So if everyone could tag 80s Retro Gamer, what a great name. Perfectly fit it. We will fit in perfectly here. I'll give him a big hello. There you go. <laughs> Be appreciated. Right, like to welcome new people to the community. It almost looks like Dragon's Lair like. Oh, why did, why did I die there? Oh, uh, I know why I died at the end on the last one. It's because Fiendish Freddy flew into me. <gasps> That's what you need to do. Stand there, deflect, so you stop before the end. Wait for the last Fiendish Freddy to appear. Deflect is... Um, the saw blade. Oh man. God, this is tough. Thank you guys for welcome there to a 80s retro game bloke. <laughs> oh. Such a bloody tough level.
Frick! Yeah, he pushed me off there at the end. Well, if you get drunk, I will see that's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> Unlucky. Ah, oh, I got the blade deflected, but I still ended up falling off. God, this is ridiculously hard. I get it's one of the last levels, but it's hard enough already balancing. Slice me again. Abbasette is rather tired as oh god damn it! <laughs> it's because I'm rushing this now. Take a snappy ear. That's what I need to do. I need to go backwards a bit. Defend. I, did you see I was going backwards on the rope there? I needed to give a bit more distance so I could deflect with the pole the um, saw blade. God. Right, that's the trick. That's how you do it. Oh. Overseas, my wife keeps trying to talk to me about important stuff. But I try trying to turn... To turn, I, I do the... I haven't heard anything. Nod, but she keeps hounding me. Stop hounding me, woman. I'm watching someone. <laughs> You need to go and sort you go and sort your wifey out. <laughs> Why don't you just have a big chat and just do it as quickly as possible in one go, and then you got it all over and done with, and then then you can relax. <laughs> oh, Mikey, good night, Mikey. Take care, dude. <laughs> got an early start. No worries, dude. And lots of love to Jane as well, mate. You take care, dude. All right. Yeah, we will get to the quiz very soon. I think we'll probably do it next after this game rather than do requests. We'll do the quiz and then we'll do run a request for the rest of the night. I think that's probably how we'll do things. Oh, bloody hell. I got chopped in half there. Also, also I should point out, I think there's some, there's a bit of keyboard clash going on here that when I'm holding pushing up and pushing left and right and then hitting the fire button the fire button isn't registering sometimes like there's like it's like too many keys being pressed at the same time I don't know if that's an emulation thing or it's something in the game but it's causing me a bit of problems oh bloody hell I was using the defend move there my bad Okay.
Yeah, you try this. You try doing this, Osborne. Hair reveal. Why would I? What me? Why would I want to do that? You strange man. Right, I'm taking a snappy there. I don't care. Come on. No, I got sliced in half. So Freddy's going to appear again before the end, unless I can sneak it. No, I won't get to the end. So I've got to stop about three quarters down. Fart. I'm going to stop about three quarters down like it, like there. And get ready to defend the saw blade. We're no way. not work it worked before this game that's how you do it I figured something out fire holding down the fire and pushing right will like alternate between him like if you're leading to the left hold on that no, yeah, yeah 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 fire and right and you got it you saw it thank god for that <sighs> Good Lord. Right, I'm just reading the chat there and looking at it looking at it in disbelief. Hey, we've actually got over ten thousand dollars. So however badly we do on this level, we've completed the game. Excellent. So that's good. Good luck. Can we stop talking about my hair and also lack of hair? Bloody hell. <laughs> Brian says it's getting serious. Uh, I'm eating ready salted with sweet pickled onions. Good lord. <laughs> right. Oh, hang on. Why is that not saving? There we go. The cannon level. Right. I mean, this is near enough. This is already tough enough. Uh, actually, yeah, well, that's about right. And you kind of had to have a play of this a few times to work out the distances. So I really screwed that up there. So we want to. What we want to do is right. I'll pause this. Right. So when you start up, all right. That's, that shows you gunpowder level, so it's got maximum gunpowder level in it at the moment. Uh, and then you move, move, push left or right to move the target you want to hit from the top here. So here, because it's got full gunpowder, we'll probably want to move it up to about here. Uh, and then, then when you hit the fire button, it will jump in the cannon, and then the cannon will automatically start dropping like that, and then you have to hit the fire button again to choose the angle. Okay, so this is how that's how this works. Do it about there. You want about a 45 degree angle, maybe? Good lord, Mrs. Zypha, I'm not being made into a bloody rug. That wasn't a bad attempt. We do that again, but move the target upper section. Let's try that again. So if we put it here. Uh, 
let's see. But that, ooh, this could be good. He's not dropping enough, is he? What? That looked perfect. Oh, God, look how tough that is. I mean, come on. Right, so we want to move it a bit further up then. Probably right there. Oh, no, 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 no. The gunpowder's half level this time. Oh. Right there, maybe. A ye olde version of Angry Birds. <laughs> nice. FC Den Hag is enjoying this one. Yeah, it's a really, really good game. Harry very good at the Commodore 64 as well. <gasps> oh! Pog Champ. We got it. I think you get two other goes. <laughs> All in good sports are. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like mock anger outrage opposite. Don't worry. <laughs> Right, halfway. Oh, if you take too long, Freddy will come along and drop a cork. <laughs> there you go. Ah, Darren Connors disengaged from lurk mode. Welcome back, Darren. Oh, it's not a full compliment. Let's do it about there. Oh, no, that's not enough angle at all. But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna land short, aren't we? Uh oh. <laughs> See if we can beat level two here. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> enough money I think oh they don't look happy they don't look happy but we got over ten thousand dollars <laughs> and he got seven hundred dollars for that one but there you go. That's the game. Yep, yeah, we've beaten it, basically. We should have an ending sequence here. Uh, I've turned off the disc loading noises. <laughs> That's Fiendish Freddy running away. <laughs> there we go gg that's uh that's fiendish freddy beaten i believe uh do we do we get anything else let me let me let me check that was a nice little ending there though i think think you do Down you back to the start there. So there you go, guys. That was Fiendish Freddy. Um, thank you for the GGs. What score out of 10 would you give Fiendish Freddy, guys? I'm going to pause up there. Give you rest from the music. Um, it has its faults. There's frustrations. There are frustrations. I'll address that when I do a review of this. But uh, for the presentation, graphics and music alone, and the animations, it's stunning, really. Uh, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Yeah. Um, hey, Mark. Welcome. Good to see you, Mark Walbridge. How are you doing? Yes, we're going to be doing a quiz soon. Uh, I think I said I'll do it after this one. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to... 
allow one game request. Um, um, maybe, maybe we'll do a game request for Crazy Borg to welcome him back and cheer him up a bit. Crazy Borg, do you have a game request? Am I doing it now or after the quiz? I'll decide. I'm just going to go and get a drink from the fridge, guys. I'll have a look at your review scores when I get back. And um, we'll see what I'm doing in a second. All right. Alright. Thank you. Just got a drink from the fridge there. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. I. Uh, the GG there. So Crazy Bog gives it a nine. Thank you, Steve P for the GG. Uh Robin gives it a seven. Mm, Mark down a bit. Um uh, FC Den Hog a nine because of its variety and nice music. Mrs. I an eight point five. Uh seven out of ten knacker controls the most of it. Is that uh, you gathering that from how I've been getting a bit frustrated at times. Joffa, or have you played this yourself? Uh, Maud gives it a seven and a half. Jez a seven. Alpha set a seven. <laughs> Claude is like, kill it with fire because of the clowns. <laughs> hey, the lonely has. This is bravo, bravo. Thank you so much, Zai, for playing the Freddy. Hey, my pleasure, dude. My pleasure. Jimmy gives it an eight out of ten. Brian an eight and a half. Excellent. There we go. Lucas a seven and a half. AR10 has it has frustrating controls, but I did play it a lot back in the day. So Technic knows. That yeah. There is a there is a clash going on on the tightrope walking level, I am pretty sure. You're balancing left and right, you're pushing up at the same time, and then you're needing to hit the fire button to deflect the um saw blades, and like uh, nothing was happening at times. Hmm. Darren Connor the 7.9. Uh, Arnie says, Zypher, the music is only available uh, in Finnish on 128k machines. Oh, really? Right. Okay. There was a cassette version of this because it's on e there's uh, two copies on eBay at the moment for sale. Uh, there was a third, a disc version, which I bought this morning. So, uh... uh, now you can't dodge this anymore, Zypher. The game is Werner Mackin. Okay, I'll have a look at that. Uh, <laughs> 10 out of 10 for graphics though, yeah. Tell you what I've realised, new controllers are good for old games, so there's nothing like a proper joystick. I think that under certain, certain circumstances and games, yes. I, re I really want to play on a joystick at times, and my, my USB one's completely broke. I do have this one. This is apparently the Commodore 64... It's got, it came with a load of Commodore 64 uh, games years ago. Competition Pro USB joystick, but not being recognised anymore. So uh, it's knackered. Otherwise, I'll be using that one. Uh, hey, FC Denton, we don't want a repeat of last time. Don't get yourself in trouble. It's not worth it. You can still join in in the chat. Lewis gives it an 8 out of 10. Good stuff, good stuff. Jimmy Taylor, I see that. Let me just uh like Streamlabs has been very slow in picking up um super chats. I might have to log out and log in again for it to see it. Come on. God, Streamlabs is so slow. Right, I'm gonna log out and log in again.
You want a proper big clicky joystick. Don't get me wrong, this 8-bit do-pad is useful. It's really, really good. It was utterly useless playing Fiendish Freddy with it earlier. There we go. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> Let's give him a dancing, Alan. We'll give him a mini one as well. Well done, it says, well done for completing this game. Jimmy, thank you for the two pounds, mate. Thank you very, very, very much. I don't need to say bananas in the chat because there's loads of them there already. Jimmy, thank you very, very, very much, mate. Thank you, man. That's very kind of you. And lots of love to Jane as well. Um, thank you, dude. Thank you very, very much. All right. Okay. We're going to do a quick request. We're going to do a quick request for uh, Crazy Borg. He wants me to play a German game called Werner. Yeah. Oh, it's not loading. I have no idea what this one is. We'll get it booted up. Bless you, Jimmy. Uh, Zypho, that's odd. On my screen, it is just a few seconds of seen a message appearing on here and it appearing in the chat window above your image. I'm talking about the the lag from Streamlabs, uh, which is like what handles alerts and things like that, Texy. Don't play game one or five. Okay, right. Oh, is it waiting for me to do a key press? Oh! <laughs> it looks like he's doing something a bit dodgy there. Oh, Werner, Werner, no! Uh, I don't know. What's going on? Normal auto fart. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not that funny. Is it? <laughs> Panic tour, Schusselba or farting in Nebel. <laughs> uh, which one do I need to choose, uh, Crazy Borg? <laughs> he's giving it a talk. Now he's a tossy. <laughs> It's like the Nova Tog video Yellow Belly's got going. Normal normal auto fart. So so we're automatic automatic farting. Okay. Oh, what's go oh. Alright, okay. We're driving along. Uh, what, what, what do we? What, how do we avoid the drills? <laughs> What's going on? I found a bottom, find this humor the height of comedy got. I ha The bird steals your key. Why does he have a willy for a nose? <laughs> that is a good question, Simon. Stop the bird from seeing the keys. I'll try again. Firing down. The first time we actually got further than that randomly. So if we, perhaps we keep up here.
Uh, fastest from the gen with fire and drive, driving auto drive. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. Thank you, FC Den Hag. Someone's stealing my beer. What's the, what on earth is the drill doing? What was he sucking on there? Looks a bit dodgy. Well, we did a little better there. Let's try the next level then. Panic Tour. Oh. Is it all just driving levels? I think he's driving to collect beer or something. Bloody hell, one of them stops here on this level. Oh, let's try another one. Schisselval. Uh, I think that wrong side of disc, I think that means. Well, turn the disc over. Okay. Crazy ball. What on earth do you have us playing here? <laughs> KFC Den Hog. Uh What on earth is this? Go build a bike. Why, why is he not happy? Every time I do that, it, every time I select something, he, put, he, he does the question mark thingy. So I can't select a wheel. And I'm losing beer. Down to add. I have no idea what's going on there. Barton Nebel. Let's try that. Don't click, press down. I did try pushing down a few times. Didn't seem to do anything. <laughs> what have you got as a plate? Whoa, what's this? I can't seem to control. I can't seem to control anything. That's actually nicely presented. Uh, what? Barton ne Neville is driving in fog. But I, I can't seem to control the bike. And it looks like I've lost all my beer. on earth is going on? I have no idea what the controls are. I I'm going to have a quick look on the CPC Power website about this game. It looks actually quite interesting in a way. But uh, what was it called? Ver Verna. Yeah. Uh, I think that gives us a hang on let me put that through Google Translate. It gives us a bit of summary there. Verna is a fictional character appears in a number of German comics and animated films. It was created by Brussel Rutger Feldsman. Verna is the most popular comic character in Germany with over 10 million books sold. Okay. Let's have a look at the package. Oh, it's like literally like the loading it's the loading screen. Oh, right. Looks like there might be an English language version. It's got English on the back of the box here. Five most normal games imaginable. Who will bring along the biggest bulk of bottles to the party? What? What? 
Well, there you go. It looks like it, it did appear in the UK. We got a UK disc. Apparently, we, there is a UK version of the disc. We got English instructions. We do. I mean, uh. Oh god, there's a lot to read there. Hang on. Badly, it's badly scanned. Uh, All right, English instructions here. But it's not going to be easy to read. There's a dice game you can play. Doesn't tell you much to do, actually, here. Whoa! Some bad language in the instructions. Up the creek without a paddle. <laughs> okay. I have no idea. So, we will... <laughs> Maybe I'll come back to have a look at this another time. Um, but, uh, yeah. I think that will do for now. Because I think we're going to have to work, work, work the game out quite a bit there. But hopefully... You enjoy that crazy Borg. I'm going to do one more on the normal auto farts for you. And then uh, we will move on. Maybe we'll do the quiz next, actually, guys. Who here in the chat is up for taking part in the quiz tonight? Uh, but you have to come in my... Uh, you have to be in my Discord and use voice. That was nowhere near the car then. Alright. It's just the same pattern over and over. I got 14 beers there. Ah. We'll be doing like one of those uh, quiz games on the Amstrad. So it'll be general knowledge and sport and music and stuff from the 80s. Yeah, every time that drill hits me, I, lo I lose beer. But I can't see any way to avoid that drill. Ha! <laughs> Too young for that. No one believes you. Some link to the Discord, please. Yeah, sure. Exclamation mark Discord if you want to join. So, yeah. Uh, Kev Al's up for it. Mark, Jez. Uh, sure, Taxi is. Are you up for it, Taxi? We'll get LSG in. You're too drained tonight, Avacet. Oh, cool. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Join in. Uh, Yellow Belly is, uh, no bug is. Johnny Boy, are you joining in, dude? How many do you need for the quiz, mate? Let's see how many we've got in there at the moment. We've got one person in the waiting room. So, what you want to do is, um, hang on. 
What's that? Someone's messaging me. Oh, no, it's all right. Uh, if I get a display capture up... Oh, you can't see it. Bloody hell. All right, if I... If I do it like this... So, what you want to do is... You've got the list of channels there. If you go into the waiting room, and I'll see how many people we've got, right? And then I might assign you into uh, teams. If we've only got, like, four people playing, then we'll just have four players. But, like, so what you want to do is just click on there. My debris. Stop. 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 <laughs> you can hear them there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we've got people joining in there. There you go. We've got people. Got I can see a Brian in there, a Big Joffa, a Jez Dukes, a Kev Howell, a Moosa, Pete Walker, a Texi88, Vasco, and a Yellow Belly. Does anybody else want to join in? And we'll do a little quiz for a little bit. And then we'll do some Amstrad game requests. I just don't want to get, to, uh, get it, uh, let it get too late tonight. Oh, got you, Avocet. No worries, dude. No worries. Pete Walker, excellent. We're joining there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten players. I could do with two more people, then we can have three teams of four. That would work. RSG wants to. Oh, you're going to get in trouble with um, Mrs. Gaming. <laughs> Uh, duh, 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 duh. We all in? Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got lots of people in the waiting room at the moment. That's good. How many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Just need one more person, and that would make a nice, re a good number. Uh, model one might be having technology limitations. Okay, dude. If there's anything could help with, let me know. Where's the ladies tonight? Where's Andrea, Anna, Rachel? I know we had Rachel McGowan in the chat earlier, but like, I thought, I thought um, the other Rachel might have wanted to join in. Um. Oh, we've got one more. Oh, Lewis has joined in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two. Oh, gosh, hang on. Hang on, how many have we got now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, bloody hell, we've got 13 now. <laughs> All right, okay. Are you busy right now? Yeah, no worries, no worries. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to, like, drag you guys into groups in a second. Let me get rid of this, and we're going to get um, Pub Trivia up. Hopefully this should work all right. Oh, I'll get to the display capture. Right, this is... All right, we're going to do this as a bit of an experiment then, guys. This has not been properly tested before anywhere. This could be a complete disaster. We'll get the AMS Quiz logo up there. Right, okay. Now, how many have we got? 12. Perfect. If I just join in, I'm gonna. Right, I'll tell them as well. Right, I'm gonna tell them what's going on and then we'll get going. You guys can join in in the chat, in, in the chat room as well. Alright, guys. Oop. Oh, all right, guys. Right, can you all hear me? All right, yes. yeah. all right okay. Right, I, we're going to make three teams, and we're going to put four of you into a team, and another team, and another team. So there's a there's Am's, Am's Quiz Team One channel, and Am's Quiz Team Two channel, and Am's Quiz Team Three. So I'm going to randomly put you into different groups there. And when it's your turn, I will um, come to your group, join your chat, and then we'll get going answering the questions when it's your turn. So when yeah. I do it, when I do, I want you to all think of some team names for yourself as well. Okay? Yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start moving people now, and then, then you probably can hear me talking about stuff in the stream in a sec. All right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good stuff.
Right. Let's see then. All right, we're gonna... Actually, I better put it on the screen so you guys can see what I'm doing at the moment. We're gonna be making some teams. Let me get my display capture back up. Let's see. Right. We're gonna make the... We're gonna make the first team. So let's see. Let's take uh, let's take Yellow Belly. Oh, actually, this is really difficult to do. We're gonna put Yellow Belly in team one. We're gonna put Novabug team two, and we'll put OSG team three. Uh, we'll drag Brian into team one of Yellow Belly because he's talked with him before in Discord and was testing it with him. Let's put let's put Lewis with Novabug. We'll put Joffa. Hang on. We'll put Joffa Team Three with OSG. I think they'll work. I think they'll work well together. We'll put Musa with Lou and Novabug. Right, let's put let's put. Jez Duke's in there. Pete Walker, he, he, he's chatted a lot with Nova Bug, so that will keep him happy in there. Uh, let's put Kev Howe in Team 3, maybe. Well, it's quite hard to do. <laughs> Alright, Kev Howe in Team 3. Let's put Texie in there, and we'll put Vasco in Team 3. Right, we've got right. We've got three teams of four, and we'll we'll get this set up then. You guys can take part as well. Join in in the chat. Um, for those of you taking part, if you can hear me, guys, try not to read the chat too much because it will be a bit cheaty. But um, there we go, and we'll come back to them in a second. Right, let's get this up here. Then we're going to pause that. Um, we're gonna have number of players three for three teams. Okay. Right, and I'm just gonna put the volume down a bit here. Okay. And we're gonna go talk to the first team tonight. Hey, Walden, how you doing, mate? Welcome. Right, good evening, AMS Quiz Team number one. How are you doing? Hello. Guys, can you, in the chat, can you hear them okay speaking, by the way? Uh, I can't hear Jazz. I don't know if he's there or if he's gone to the loo or something. Right. Uh, can everyone hear Yellow Belly Day? Seems a bit quiet in my headphones, actually. Can I, uh... Oh, you can anything to me. Oh, we've oh, lost Jez. We've lost Jez. Where's Jez gone? Oh, he's Maybe. gone back to the waiting room. Right, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, we've got we've got a Brian waiting. Oh bloody hell! Uh, oh, Jez is what? Where's Brian gone? Oh, he left a few moments before you came into this group to speak to us. Oh, has he had to go? I don't know. He just, his name just disappeared and, uh, and never came back. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm back. All right, Jez. All right, I'm just talking to the chat here. So everyone can can everyone hear them okay? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Yeah, I can hear. Yeah, I can hear you too. Okay, I think I'll just turn the game volume down just a touch more, and then we should be good. Two, 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 and I'll. Main volume up there. Okay, so like Amsquiz Team One, have you chosen a team name for yourself? Uh, not really. Uh, we, we didn't get to that bit because we were worried about losing Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> quickly, guys, think of a name. Think of a name. <laughs> right, I think we need to turn. Oh, Texie's a bit quiet. I've pumped his volume up. Yeah, so, somebody got the volume up on their, on their, uh, of, if you can mute the YouTube stream. Oh, sorry, I was just, I was just afraid I wouldn't be able to hear Zypher if I did that. I've, I've muted it on mine. 
Make okay, it. you probably need to be able to hear me by. Oh god. Yeah, I'll. Yeah, no, it'll be fine. It'll be you fine. Do, yeah, we can hear you this way. Right. Oh, Brian, have you dropped out, Brian? He's in the chat this. now. Um. Yeah. We're, we're, we're down a team member. So if someone else wants to join in, if Brian, um, get in my waiting room and I'll drop you in, and oh. join Yellow Belly's team. All right, I'll let you guys think of a team name. Thank and you. I'll, and I'll come back to you in just a second. And then we'll have another chin, chin wag of each other. Uh, we'll see if we get you an extra player. But I'm going to jump to team two. Then I'll, I'll come back to you chaps in just a sec then. All right? No worries. All right. Okay. Out there somewhere and being used by other people. Good evening, Adam's <laughs> Quiz team number two. Hi. Hello. Hello. Right. Who do we have here then? We have a Lewis, Lewis. Waddo first. Hello, Lewis. Hello. You all right, mate? <laughs> I'm good, dude. Um, perhaps tell us tell us something about yourself, Lewis, so we get to know you a bit more, maybe. Something interesting. Uh, well, actually, we know quite a bit about you now, don't we? I've got four kids. They're all asleep. <laughs> <laughs> My missus is asleep. I should be asleep. Uh, I've got work tomorrow, and I'm, uh, I'm a technician in an arcade. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Lewis. Musa! Good evening, Musa. Evening there. Oh, it's good to hear your voice at last, actually, mate. How you doing? All right, mate. Yes. You want to tell us a little bit about yourself, Musa? Anything interesting? Uh, I don't know about interesting. Uh, I live in Edinburgh. Um, my girlfriend is currently away, which is why I'm able to get away with doing this tonight. <laughs> uh, and I work for a magazine website. Fantastic. And last, oh no, we've got two more people. Actually, I was about to say last but not least. No, we've got, first of all, we'll, we'll, go, we'll jump to Pete Walker, the legend. Hello, Pete. Hey, man, how you doing? Oh, good, man. Good, good. And um, what, what can you tell us about yourself that the Amstream might find interesting? Um, <laughs> well, um, I think everybody knows my, um, <laughs> I like to do that on my money, it's probably gathered. Um, it's not really a lot to say about me, really. I'm just, um, I just like to watch games and donate a lot of money to people. I do <laughs> them. The Banana Man, yes. Um, the Legend. Yeah. All right, Pete. And of course, last but not least, we have the Bug himself. Good evening, Chris. How you doing now? You alright? I'm good, mate. Oh, you sound, you sound a bit tired, dude. Are you alright? Um, well, I'm a little bit tired. I've got work at half part. I'm, I'm basically almost like Lewis said, uh, apart from I'm, I'm less one kid and I don't work in an arcade, so... <laughs> <laughs> But I do all have right. an interesting. I do have an interesting thing. Quickly, while you were streaming, I've actually been playing Sword Slayer and completed it. <laughs> oh God, I oh, I remember that. It's that black and white side yeah. on. Yeah, it's yeah. Dreadful, isn't it? Yeah, it's Bloody awful. Hell. Yeah. Right. Have, have you gentlemen organised a team name for yourself at all? No. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, we just call ourselves For the Win. There you go. Yeah, that that'll do. Number four. Oh, number four, the win. All right, very clever. All right, okay. We'll get back to you in, again in just a sec. We're going to jump to team uh, team number three, lastly. And uh, I'll catch you guys in a sec, all right? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, good evening, Am's Quiz team number three. Hello, hello. 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 All right, who, the, who, who do we have first here, then? Let's go with... Um, let's go with Big Joffa. Hello, Big Joffa. Hello, Big Zai. <laughs> Hello, big boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how you doing, mate? Tell us something interesting about yourself. Maybe wait, what you do or anything you want. Interested? No, there's no interesting about me. Nearly 50. Got three kids that I know of. Been married 20 years. She's got three kids that she knows of as well. <laughs> uh, work for a college in London, but live in Cornwall. Very work that one out. Beautiful Cornwall. Lucky buggy you. Lovely. Oh, I'm jealous, I'm jealous. Next thing, we've got Mr. Kev Howell. Hello, good evening, Kev. How are we doing? How are we doing? Yeah, all right. All right, mate. Yeah, whereabouts are you from, Kev? I'm trying to uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm originally from the Lake District, but I actually in Manchester now. So, with ah. wife, with two wife with two kids, love retro gaming. She hates it all. She has no idea what I'm doing tonight. She's in bed. <laughs> all good, all good. And for the beer, and all good. She's like, what's all <laughs> oh, that silly old man downstairs? What's he Yeah, doing? exactly. I've been in, into it all like for 20 years now. Ran me on emulation site like 20 years ago. She still has no idea. Uh, <laughs> Worked work with Steve, with Retro and Lim. Uh, Worked with him 20 years ago. So, yeah, really? been around for a while. I didn't know yeah. that. I didn't know that. 
so I've known him for 20 years. Oh, so, have, you yeah. got some, have you got some interesting stories about Retro only? Uh, no, well, no, not really. Uh, I've stopped at his aunt's house in Blackpool. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we met up quite a bit a couple of years ago, so, but no, that's about it, really. Oh, so no, so, no embarrassing stories that he's... Uh... Oh, not, not that I can remember. Um, Damn yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, we better crack on. Uh, Vasco, good evening, Vasco. Hello, hello. How are you doing? All right, matey. What can you tell us about yourself that the Amstree might find interesting? <laughs> oh, I've got four cats, three kids, <laughs> one wife, and um, make music under the name of Vasco the Pig and In Crack Tear. So go and check that out. All right, nice. I like how you put the um, order there. It was like cats, followed by children, followed by the wife. <laughs> Seems like the neat way to do it, yeah. The, the wife <laughs> came first there. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. All right, and last but certainly not least, we OMG. It's OSG, Old Style Gaming. Good evening, sir. Evening. Evening. <laughs> Um, what can I ask OSG? What can you uh, tell it? Oh god, I don't know. We don't, we all, we already know too much about you, mate. I think. Yeah, I think everybody knows everything about me. <laughs> I've got a I've got a wife and three kids. I've got a guinea pig. I think we're just naming all our pets. Um, I've got a hamster. Um, that's about it. Then. <laughs> there we and go. I'm drunk. I'm drunk oh, as well. Oh, Jesus! Right, that. okay. I'm getting, I'm, so I'm like... not going to swear though because I know it's like, family friendly. And I wouldn't... <laughs> Shit, not bollocks. My my finger is hovering <laughs> hovering over the uh, mute button ready already. Have you got a team name sorted, gentlemen? At yes, all? we do, don't we? Yes. Yeah. The four amigos. The four amigos. There we go. What were the the interesting. Novabug chose uh, uh, four for the win as well. So two teams with the number four in it. There you go. Right. So I'm going to jot your names down here. We're going to keep, try and keep record of the score. Um, I think we're going to try and do free, uh, best of three rounds on this game, and I'll try and explain it um, outside of Discord on the stream, so you may want to listen on there as well. Cool. Just make sure you haven't got the volume from the stream feeding back into your mic at any point. All right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, cool. Oh, we got. I've got to do one more. Uh, go back to team team one. Looks like we've got a new person wanting to join their team, so we'll get the game started in about like uh, one minute. Okay, guys. Cool. All right. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Hello again, Team One. Have you got a team name sorted yet? We do, we do. We are the 8 bit boobies. <laughs> right. Right, the 8 bit boobies. Fantastic. Um, I trust that's PG enough for you. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, we've got a new person wanting to join in um, in the waiting room, D Papakos. Oh, it's Come Dimitri in. from earlier. We'll bring him in. Hello, Dimitri. Dimitri, hello. Hello. Hi. Are you there? Hi. How are you? Hey, yeah. there we go. Oh, yeah, nice to meet you guys. Yeah. <laughs> that was a deep voice. Hi, I am Dimitri. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. sorry, guys. I can hear your voice is very, very loud. Yeah. <laughs> right. So as long as everyone can hear each other. Um, how are you doing, Dimitri? Do you want to tell us a little yeah. bit about yourself? Um, the answer yeah. you might find interesting. Oh, yeah. here. Um. Yeah, it's, it looks like my voice is coming a bit slow. So I'm Dimitri. I'm 38 years old. <sighs> yeah. Uh, my name is Dimitri. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you do for a living, sir? If you don't mind me asking. Yeah. Uh, I am from Athens, Greece, and I live in London for the last couple of uh, six years, and I work as a web developer. Ah, nice, nice. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't know if you can see on the stream at the moment, uh, guys. You can choose your contestant to play as. You've got number one, a lady there with blonde hair. Uh, uh, number two is a lady with black hair. Number three, you don't know, guy with a side parting. Guy number four with, a, with an, an earring. And lady number five there. Do you have a preferred character to choose? Ooh, what do you think, guys? Um, number three. Number three. Number three. Okay. Then, Let's move operator there. All right. Plank experience. No right, right, team number two. Which character would you like to be? Would you like to be the lady of the blonde hair, the the brunette, the guy with the Ooh. the earring, or the lady of the curly hair? 
Blood uh, in the, uh, the Goldilocks, I think. Yeah, Lady, Lady yeah. Curly Hair. Oh, All right. Number, oh, number one you want. Number one, yeah. Number yeah. one. There we yeah. go. One is oh. staring manically. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to go to Team 3. Team three, which character would you like to be in game? Would you want the lady, of the uh, lady of the black hair, the guy with the earring, or lady number five with the frizzy hair? Well, we'll have to be a man, surely. Do we? That's, yeah, not, well, that's not what I've heard about you at the weekends, OSG, <laughs> hanging around in bars and stuff. <laughs> Don't tell me, wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got right. me little sailor suit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can be guy number four, the earring. Uh, oh. Right, okay. All right, we're going to start. We're going to have to go to team one first, and I'll come back to you guys in just a sec. All right. Go. Cool. All right, team number one. Oh, where's Yellow Belly? Oh, he's in the way. Yeah, room. that's what we were wondering. All right, we've got Yellow Belly back in there. Not sure what happened there. Welcome back, Yellow Belly. It's your Thank team. You. It's, it's your team to start. So let's. Oh. Well, now we can choose between a mystery, Joker. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what the Joker is in a second. Sport, trivia, or sport. Now the Joker will will move you up the pyramid a level, so you can skip a question, but you don't get any, you don't score any points. Now how the game works is you start with ten p, and if you lose, if you lo if you get down to zero pence, you're out the game, and you. It's 10p per question, so bear that in mind. Does that make sense? Yeah. But we'll do several rounds of this. So if you, if you can, it can be out if you get the first question wrong, which is rather annoying in this. But we'll do a few rounds of it anyway. So we, what would you like? Tri uh, sorry, it's a mystery card. Uh, Joker, sport, mystery, or sport? <laughs> mystery. Mystery? We're going to go for mystery. Right, yeah, that's good for that. We'll do the first one there then. All right, are you ready? The mystery question yeah, no, reward is for 50 points here. All right, let's go. What fruit, I'm going to pause this, for, I'll give you about 30 seconds here. What fruit is produced more than any other? Is it A, pears, B, bananas, or C, apples? What fruit is produced more than any other? A, pears, B, bananas, or C, apples. I'll give you about 10 seconds to confer. I'd have thought apples or bananas, but... Apples. I, I was going to say, I'd say apples, because there's that many varieties of apples as well. Yeah. You, you know, the... Like to... uh, I'll, I'll give you, bananas, I'll give you a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, what do you reckon, Dan? Oh, there's two apples. We were nearly out of time. Apples, uh, apples then. Apples? It was oh. wrong. She says, try oh, again. Oh, wrong. No. Try again. Oh, the time's up there as well. I did. I did give you a lot of time there. That mean right. That's a bit. That's a bit unfair because now you're out. But we'll we'll do a few rounds. So uh, okay. Don't worry, lads. We'll get you back in in a sec. Okay. I'm gonna Google that now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon bananas. <laughs> oh well. We won't find out now, but unless you can find it on Google. All right, I'm back with you in a sec, guys. There is. <laughs> All right, team number two, are you ready? So, yes, okay, you've got a choice of showbiz, showbiz, music, mystery, or showbiz. Oh my word! <laughs> Bloody showbiz! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you can choose, like, if you choose showbiz two. You do have a Joker card ahead that you might be able to use and jump ahead. But you don't get any points if you skip a uh, level of question. So you, gonna, what, you can do you sh showbiz one, showbiz two, music, <laughs> mis uh, mystery, or showbiz three. Call it that. I think mystery. Yeah, go for mystery. All right. Yeah, mystery. Oh, oh no! Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. You've got showbiz. Oh. <laughs> okay. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged. rigged. Nobody <laughs> seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Well, this is going well. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> All right, showbiz question. Here we go. The question is, what profession is featured in Never the Twain? What profession is featured in Never the Twain? Is it A, advertising, antiques. B, horse racing, or C, antiques? Antiques. antiques. C, antiques. C. 
C. Right, okay. Yeah, so weird, I was thinking about that program earlier today for no reason. You are correct! Congratulations, oh. you get 50 points. Well, congratulations <laughs> for pressing the right button this time. <laughs> yes! Oh, God. You're going to hold that against me now. Now, <laughs> I'm not do that for the answers. <laughs> now, it's only letting me choose music here. I don't know why. So it's going to be a music question. Okay. okay. All right, here we go. This is for 100 points. Now, which duo is made up of Roland Orzabal and Kurt Smith? Oh, sh Is it A, Tears for Fears, B, Bros, or C, Pet Shop Boys? It must be A, then. Tears for Fears. Yeah. yeah. You got A, Tears for Fears? I know it's not Bros, and it's not, not B or C. Yeah, Tears for Fears. It's I'll Tears for Fears, it's got to be. All right, final answer? Yep. Yeah. Right. You are correct. Ooh. Yes. And we'll see. Let's have a look at the chat there. See how many people got that right there in the chat. Lucas got it right there. Jimmy Taylor got it right in the end. And Darren Connor did. Well done. Well done, chat there. Hey, we're on it. We're on. And we're off. Right. Let's see what you can choose from. Again, you can only choose a music, music. question here. So. Music. All right. Here we go. Love music, please. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following is not not a Genesis album? Is it A for Avacat, B Invisible Touch, or C Coming Round Again? Which of the following is not a Genesis album? A no Avacat, B Invisible Touch, or C Coming Round Again? I don't know. Touches a song by them, but. Oh, I, I actually think Invisible Touch isn't actually a title of, a title of the album. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I don't, don't know. know. Go, go with that. I have no idea. You have to guess. Have have to guess quick. I don't know. I would have to start the timer in a second. Uh, what have we got guts with doing, guys? I mean, Abacab, that sounds familiar. Mm. Um, I like your gut feeling. Hey? I like your gut feeling. With, without knowing anything about so I need to know I, A, I B, or C. I'm going to start the timing now, guys. You don't have long. I just think the song, the song called she, Invisible Touch. I don't see how it's called it. I don't know. Sorry, she guys. Me. Time's up, dudes. What are we going for? B. It's too late. B, 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 B. Time ran out. B, 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 B. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we can't see the time in real time. That's the thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll have to think about that. I mean, you did have a long time there compared yeah, to yeah. Um, yeah. Team One earlier, yeah. so I think that balances it out. But yeah. um, I'll probably just start doing a, like a 10, 9, 8 okay. in the background for next time. Okay. Well, That's well, a good the point. So there, there is a, there's going to be a huge amount of lag for you. Yeah. That's the same. Yeah. Right. Okay. So um, we're going to jump to Team 3 now. GG's, guys. Well, Hello, yeah. Team 3. Right. It's your turn. Hello. Hello, hello. Right. Evening. So you have a choice of a sport question, showbiz uh -huh. question, showbiz question, tri a mystery question, or a music question. Well, so it goes question. sport, that's... showbiz, showbiz, mystery, music. Ah, oh, trivia. Um, right. Not sport for me. Showbiz. Yeah, not sport. Go for showbiz, we're going for one in the yeah. middle there. All right, do, okay. do, the left, do the left showbiz, though, because if it limits where you go after that... Oh, bugger, I've already <laughs> chosen it now. <laughs> wow. All right, we'll sort that next time. All right, here comes your showbiz question. Are you ready, chat, as well? Yep. yep. Right. Uh, well. In what film did the Von Trapp family feature? Is it A, 1984, <laughs> B, The Sound of Music, or C, Casablanca? Oh, this is pretty easy. Either Sound of Music, isn't it? Yeah. What was that? What are you going for? B. Sound of Music. C? B. 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 <laughs> Not your well, just now. The L. L. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Well done, gentlemen. And well done, chat there. Everyone got that right in the chat there as well. <laughs> right. <laughs> You've got a choice of two music questions. The one on the left, um, one on the, so the one on the left might lead you to another music question or the Joker card, or the one on the right might lead you to the Joker card or the trivia question after. Oh. Do you, know the, do you know what the Joker card does, by the way? Yeah, no idea. It, 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 it advances you up the pyramid to the next question. Go for that, then. Oh, no points. Yeah. 
but you don't get Rip. any points. So uh, oh. yeah. these points. Yeah. So, mu left music or right <laughs> music question? Left. Yeah, left. Okay, lads. Here we go. All right. For a hundred points, how many Thompson twins are there? <laughs> How many Thompson <laughs> twins are there? Is it A three. two, B three, or C one? Three. Three, isn't it? Yeah. Three. yeah. What are you choosing there, lads? Sorry. Three. So B. Three. B. You're going to choose B. All right. Let's see what the our chat room gets as well. You are correct. There was three Thompson nice twins. Nice work, guys. That was B. Let me yeah. just see where you got that, that in the chat there. Yeah, quite a few people got that right, actually. Darren Connor, uh, Andrew Pollard. Welcome to the stream, Andrew, by the way. Not good to see you, buddy. Johnny Boy got that right, and Jimmy as well, and Lucas got that right. There we go. Cypher, have you engaged easy mode for us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, OSG, he's like, slipped me something under the table earlier. Don't say that. It might have been... It was, it was... <laughs> yeah, I'll leave that there. Right, do you want the Joker card <laughs> or the music card next? Oh, it's got to be points means prices, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. It does. Do you want to go music, yeah? Yeah, go on. Yeah. All right, yeah. then. Brave lads, brave lads. For 150 points. Here we go. Which instrument did 50s artist Les Paul play? Oh, for God's sakes. Which instrument did 50s artist Les Paul play? A, piano. <laughs> B, cornet. Oh, the cornet. I definitely cornet. <laughs> oh, cornet. I'm joking. <laughs> right. I'll accept that answer. B, cornet. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Guitar. Uh, yeah, C. You all go, so you're going for C guitar? C, please, Bob. All right. That's <laughs> all guitar. That C is correct. correct. I think you know, everyone, everyone these in the chat are got easy, that. But everybody's going to be saying, this is like yeah. that question for Nova Bug, what is your birthday? RSG <laughs> <laughs> has to bring that up every time there's a, a quiz involved. <laughs> and you were quite right to. We got done we, there. We've gone <laughs> from which fruit is grown the most to what this famous guitar <laughs> bloke Les Paul famous for. <laughs> that is true. Actually, Bippy Stopper Gaming, welcome to the stream. He makes a good point there. What, why didn't they, they call themselves the Thompson Triplets? That's true. Yeah. Mm. I, hope the I hope the next question's what is Stratovarius? <laughs> Nick. So we're going to have to. Uh, it won't let me choose anything other than the Joker card. So you go to the top. And I think you go to what's called. Oh, the top card. Right. Okay. Yeah. So Thank what's you. this going to be? You get a reward of 300 points. You're on 300 at the moment. Let's start. Who invented logarithms? Who invented logarithms? Is it A, John Napier, B, Mr. Adam Log. Smith, or C, Robert Log? Oh, man. <laughs> John Napier, see, can it? No, it's Never John heard. Napier. Cool, I'm happy to go with the A. Yeah, yeah. Hey, go yeah. on A, then. Yeah, You're going A? Yeah. All right, All right we're going to go A here. You're correct! Good oh, wow. man. Good Ooh, man. Hey, nice one. And you've busted the grid, apparently. <laughs> Who were? Who were? <laughs> now for the money maze. All right, you've got to find the cash. I don't quite know what that means, but anyway. you got a choice of music, showbiz, sport, music, or showbiz. So you could go... I'll, I would take music, because I think music... Everybody knows the music from back then still, so... It's done it yeah. I'm proud so far, hasn't it? Yeah. 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 So you want the, the music question on the left or on the right? Mm. Is there a difference, really? Uh, music, I don't think it matters. Just the right, matters. More music. On the, Just, yeah, the right, right. The right, right, the right yeah. one, okay. We're happy with whatever. Right, this is for the whopping sum of ten pence. <laughs> <laughs> Which pop artist recorded an album called Shaved Fish? Which pop artist uh. recorded an album called Shave Mish Fish? I, I know this one actually. Uh, a. David Bowie, B. John Lennon, or C. Elvis? I guess John Lennon, but I don't know. Oh, I'd go with that, yeah. Oh, David it's, Bowie. Yeah, no, it's, oh. it's Lennon, it's, isn't it? I think it's Lennon. Yeah, You're going to go with uh, B. John Lennon? Are you sure? Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. You're all right. Yep, that ah, is correct. Nice. 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 
How many people in the chat got that right, actually? So we're ten people between four of us. That's two and a half each. <laughs> yeah. But in you, the you bag. can just have my you can just have my share. Oh, I love you. Cheers. <laughs> Kids Darren Connor, well done tomorrow. for getting that right. He was the only one in the uh, chat room there to get that right. Well done, Darren. He knows his music. Right, you got a choice of music or showbiz question next, lads. No, let's go and showbiz because we we've, we've mixed it up a bit. All right. Oh. <laughs> who, who was that having an orgasm there <laughs> good lord right moving swiftly on right showbiz question um who is the host of the krypton factor is it a gordon, gordon burns. burns b stuart yeah. evans c gordon bob holness or d mikey smith <laughs> yeah well what it is d as well <laughs> or Gordon Burns. I didn't interview to go on that. Really? Yeah. Why? Why didn't they let you on then? I think because I swore in the interview. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <Yeah. laughs> Unlucky. I so didn't... we're going. We're going Gordon Burns, aren't we? Eh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone in the Amstream chat is going A as well. There. Well done, everyone. That was easy peasy. It's a music question. I can only select music here. Right. For 150 points, which of the following is not a Springsteen album? Is it A, Into the Fire, B, Born in the USA, or C, Nebraska? Which of these is not, not a Springsteen I'd album? I would tend to say B because it's such a famous it's like song, but I've no idea, personally. No, I'd go Into the Fire, I think. I would go to Yeah, Into yeah. yeah. the Fire. Nebraska is, isn't it? Yeah, A. Yeah, you're, you're going A? I think yeah. you're going to be right there. You are correct. You're on a storm. No, you're like storming guys. it. Right. Music question. Can any select that? We better crack on because the other teams have been waiting bloody ages now. You get. That's just because they're not as good as us. It's not our fault we've been being <laughs> All right. Here we go. Which TV star had a hit album called Return of Bruno? Is it oh, A, Bruce Des O'Connor, B, Jason Donovan, or C, Bruce Willis? Bruce Willis. I have no idea. I'll go I have with no Bruce idea Willis. on this one. Definitely Bruce Sounds Willis. like someone knows. Have yeah. you got it? Like on vinyl? Yeah. Well, go with Bruce Willis. I've, I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. I'm sure he's got, he's got that on vinyl. I don't hear <laughs> <laughs> They Under the boardwalk, the yeah. eight tra on an eight track, more like. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But I think he definitely did an album. Was with it started with Return of Something? Was it so Return of then. Bruno? Yeah, it was Mac. <laughs> <laughs> you going? You going with Bruce Willis then? Yeah. Yeah. Why All not? Right. All right, and here we go. You are correct. Oh, good man. Never even heard of that. Never heard of that. <laughs> And you're on the top card again. Bloody hell. Here we go. For, for the whopping 10 pence reward. <laughs> CT is the postcode of which town? CT. What? Is it A. Cheltenham, B. Bristol, <laughs> or C. Canterbury? That's gotta be Canterbury. Canterbury. Yeah. You going Canterbury? Yeah. 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 All right. I'm choosing C. Canterbury. You are correct! <laughs> Bloody hell, we need harder questions for you lot. Ask us which fruit is growing the most in the world. You don't know <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it starts you over again, right. Right, so you got a choice of music, mystery, music, music, or mystery. <laughs> Do I go for mystery? Go for mystery, why not? Yeah, I feel like it might yeah. be fairer to go for mystery, right. yeah. Okay, Might've all right. What number well, am I thinking? <laughs> this is working well tonight. Right, here we go. Um, <laughs> what planet has the most moons? Is it A, Mercury, B, Jupiter, or C, Pluto? I think... Um, is it uh, Jupiter? Is it Jupiter? Yeah, those, Jupiter. Yeah, those three. Jupiter, Jupiter I would. I thought Saturn might come up, but it's probably Jupiter. All right, you're going Jupiter then. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Right. You are correct. Oh. 
Um, let's see what the chat was saying there quickly. Actually, most of them got um, got that right as well. Well done, chat there. Uh, Andrew Puller, welcome as well, my friends. We've got Anna here as well. Uh, hello, Anna. Welcome, Anna. And Andrea Wyatt has arrived. Now the ladies have finally arrived. Fashionably late after midnight. There we go. <laughs> All right. And okay. All right. Um, team number three. What was your name? The Four Amigos. Right. It, right. You can choose music, mystery. Oh, it's music or mystery. Mystery again. Oh, yeah. Only fair in it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Question: What English king signed oh. the Magna Carta? Was it A. King Henry the Eighth, B. King John, or C. King James the First? John. John. Yeah. Mm -hmm. King John. John. B. Okay, we're going to go for that. Is bloody well correct again. <laughs> Actually, most, most of the chat got that right as well. Well done, chat. Apart from Maud. Hang your head in shame, Maud. <laughs> One of the only things I remember for mystery. Right, musical mystery again. Mystery. Mystery, okay, here we yeah. go. Yeah. Right. What is the Psi unit of power? What is the S spell SI? What is the Psi unit of power? Is it A, what, B, volt, or C, June? Mm. I know this one actually. Whoa. Ooh. What, isn't it? Where's Is the psychic unit? Of power? Yes, yeah, si, SI unit of power. Don't know. I would guess it's more jewels. like jewels. I would go for C now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or for jewels. Jewels. Yeah, I'm an electrical engineer and I don't know this. Oh, that. it's wrong! <laughs> Just what? You've lost it? 10p. See if you get, do you get another oh. chance? Oh, it's still team three. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, uh, so it starts you again. Uh, myth, got a mystery, joker card, sport, <laughs> showbiz, or music? Yeah, music again. Let's go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, by the, way the, an, the answer, guys, was what? I'm pretty sure oh, it right. was. I've yeah. not Googled it, yep. but I'm pretty sure it was. So. Uh. Anyway, right. God, you're on. Let me just make a note you score. You're on 1200 points. <laughs> and this one's for 50. Right, here we go. We, Who recorded we Kick? Who recorded Kick? Was it A, U2, B, A, B, C, or C, In Excess? In Excess, isn't it? It's definitely In Excess. Good man. C. Go for C. Right, okay. You are correct, as is most of the Amstream chat there as well. Well done, Amstream chatters. Right. Never heard of that. Mystery question next. That's all I can select there. Right, let's go. How many times thicker is blood than water? How many times thicker is blood <laughs> than water? Here we, go. Here, we go. Here we go. I have no Here idea. One, no? Is it A, six times, <laughs> B, ten times, or C, twelve times? How many times? Hold on while I go and get the visa. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> if in uh, doubt, shall we? Go, uh, pick one, I don't have a clue. No idea. I'd uh, say middle, B. You're going B. Depends how dangerous you are, isn't it, really? If, if, if you get this right on a pure guess, <laughs> I is wrong. I'm stupid oh. question. You lost oh, 10 fix. P. Bloody, fix. Bloody rig, that is. I'm telling you. <laughs> You still got another ten. Last, this is your last ten pence. You have to start again. Still going. Oh Jesus! Bloody okay. Hell. I'm sorry, <laughs> the other teams. They'll be they'll be fast asleep by the time we get to them. Right. <laughs> uh, you got music, Joker, mystery, sport, or showbiz. Right. I'm going to choose you sport because you don't have the sport. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> No, no, in no. rush, in rush, in rush, in you rush. You all strike me as the sporty types. <laughs> I'll you gamble. Right, here we go. When did Tom Watson win his first British Open? In the 80s. Oh my God. <laughs> is, it, is it A, 80s. 1975, B, 1983, or C, 1980? When did Tom Watson win his first Ugh. British Open? Golf in it. 75. <laughs> Tom it's always A. If we don't know it, go A. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense because the quiz in the 80s, the first one that would have occurred would have been prior to the 80s. So, yeah, 75. Yeah. You're going to go 1975? Yeah. Alright. It's bloody correct! 
<laughs> who got that right in the chat? Maud got it right in the chat. Everyone else went with B. Right, bloody hell. Right, mystery, mystery or music? About oh, tennis. Know, sports. Uh, mystery, go for mystery. That's yeah. mystery. Right, okay, here we go. Right. How many countries border Austria? Is it A5, B6, or C4? How many countries C4. border Austria? <laughs> C6, isn't it? It's more than you think. There's a little one, isn't there? It's always the little one. Yeah. Uh, six. Six. So you're gonna go for B, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's bloody well correct. <laughs> yeah. God. I know it's more than you think. I think it was on. Nice work. Point well done, um, Maud in the chat for getting that right there. That was the only one that got it right. Well done, Maud. And well us, done. and us. And you, yeah. We don't, care about you. we don't care about you lot. You're boring us now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Music. Which of the following is not a Eurythmics album? Is it A, Savage, B, Revenge, or C, Innocent Man? It's not a Eurythmics album. Oh, man. Uh, no idea. Like I, I would I'd maybe go. score for C. I yeah, I'd guess the last one. You're going C? No. Yeah. Look, he knows it's not C, doesn't he? What? Who, what? Look like it, doesn't he? He's got that transparent face on him. Yeah, yeah, he's <laughs> got that look. Oh, but we're one, we about five seconds behind. I, 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 I have no idea. Honestly, I have no idea. I, 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 couldn't, I, I couldn't name a single Eurythmics album, seriously. Me right. either. I'd go C, I don't know, just because it's Annie Lennox, so... Yeah, yeah go for it. Alright, okay, C. <laughs> Correct. No, no. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel guilty. I know. Right, music question. We'll just do these quick as possible then. Right, yeah. who had a hit with Running in the Family? Is it A, Elvis, B, Buddy Holly, or C, Level 42? Level 42. Oh, level 42. Yeah, yeah, yeah level 42. C, 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 go, go, go. C, C, C. Come on, we're gonna we're gonna have to get some wrong just now, so let, let them losers have a go. I think I, I think <laughs> like if you get this question not losers, not losers. If you get this question right, I'm just gonna declare you the run, winners run, of this run, round run, and start run, over run. again. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Top card. We'll do this question for you, and then we'll declare you winners. Who invented the transistor? Is it William Shockley, P. Pat Connolly, <laughs> or Enrico Fermi? Who invented the transistor? William no Shockley, way. Pat Connolly, or Enrico Fermi? Fermi. <laughs> William Shockley with Spock. So let's go for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, it's good. Go for it. So which one yeah. are you going for, lads? Uh, Captain Kirk at top. Uh, all right, we're going for A. That's William Shockley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It's bloody correct! Oh, get out. <laughs> <laughs> get out! <laughs> That's a joke, I never had idea. Who else got that right? Ruben, well done. Maud got that right as well. Lucas got that right. Well done. Well done there. Right, okay. Lucas was definitely guessing. <laughs> Lu Lucas was definitely guessing that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, lads. We're going to start over again. So you won the first round. We'll just say that, okay? <laughs> and we're going to get back to team one. You guys go and have a fag or whatever. I'm going, right, I'm going to the toilet. <laughs> it's for a beer. Cheers. <laughs> All right, catch you again. Hello, team one. Been waiting patiently there, haven't you? Are you still alive and awake? <laughs> Oi, wake up. <laughs> right, sorry about that. Well, we discovered something there that like one team can just rampage on forever in this bloody game. Yeah, we were watching. <laughs> yeah, sorry lads. I, no, we were just wishing we had them questions. <laughs> <laughs> alright, I'm not gonna care about bananas, characters here. We're gonna just go straight into the questions, alright? Yeah, no problem. Okay. Right, you can choose Joker, Mystery, 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 or Joker. Joker. <laughs> you want the first one, yeah? <laughs> yeah, just go right, for it, yeah. Okay. Right, I guess you a free pass. Right, oh, it's, a, it's got to be a mystery question. I can't choose anything else. Right, here we oh, go. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> right, what is the smallest planet? What is the smallest planet? Is it A, Mars, B, Mercury, C, Pluto, and please don't get this wrong and go out on the first question. <laughs> Mercury, Mercury, C or Pluto? Pluto. Yeah, Pluto. You're going to choose yeah. Pluto. All right. Yeah. 
Okay. It's wrong! No, it can't be wrong. Yeah, it was, no, it, it, was it was declassified. Was it? It was declassified, Pluto. Yeah. Yeah, but this was the 80s, though. He hadn't declassified. Oh, really? Oh. Is that true, guys? I, I, yeah. I'm gonna, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will hand it over <laughs> a, adjudication to the chats. No. So, chats, Amstream chats, is what um, Yellow Belly and his team saying there. Is that correct? If so, we could just quickly restart. It was the first question anyway, so... Uh, so yeah, that was recent. There's quite a few people confused there in the chat. They they yeah. thought you were right as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was declassified. Declassified. All right. So thank you, chat. Hey, Henry. Welcome as well. Yasik as well. Good to see you, dude. Um. So right. Yeah. Okay. What we'll do then? We we'll, we will restart that. I'll put this on like warp speed to get us back to where we were. <laughs> Restarting it. Yeah, in fact, right. Pluto was a dwarf planet, so it is. It's, I was confused. All right. Well, right. Yeah, it was declassified down to the moon. All right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Right, we're back again. So you can choose between sport, mm. music, sport, mystery, or mystery. Music? Yeah, let's do music. All right, yeah. music it is then. Music, okay. All right, let's start. How many red balloons did Nina sing about? Was it 99. A, 14, B, 99, or C, 6? B, 99. 100%, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're going B. You are correct. And, yeah, the chat's getting it all right there as well. Well done. Right, you can either do the, pull a Joker card or have a music question. Uh, you get money for the questions, don't you? So, you uh... Yeah. Let's go for another music. Yeah. The music question's been quite good on this, actually. Who recorded Express Yourself? Is it A, Madonna, B, Whitney Houston, or C, Slade? Well, that was Madonna. 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 Yeah. yeah. Madonna. You're going Madonna. Madonna. Right, let's choose it. That is correct. And, yeah, the chat's got that right as well. Well done, chat. Everyone's getting that one. Right, a showbiz question. I can't choose anything else here. For 150 points, which heroic character did Mark Hamill play? Book Rogers, Luke Skywalker, Flash Gordon, or Yellow Belly? Luke Skywalker. <laughs> oh, B. 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 Good lord. I like these right. questions. Yeah, these ones I are quite easy. I don't know that now. All right, music question. Let's start. Who had a hit with My Sherry Amour? My oh. Sherry Amour. Is it A, Lionel Richie, B, Stevie Wonder, C, Tracy Chapman, or D, Growing Perspective? B, Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Okay. Stevie Wonder? Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're going B. That is correct. Well done. And, yeah. and the chat got it right there as well. Well done, lads and lasses. Right, you're on the top card. Oof. Ooh. Right, let's uh, start then. How many permanent teeth should an adult have? Oh. How many permanent teeth should <laughs> an adult have? <laughs> A, 32, B, 28, or C, 30? I thought 32 Ooh. before the answer. Uh, oh, well, that's interesting. There you go. Yeah, yeah let's go for that. You're going to go 32? Yeah. All right, okay. Well, a lot in the chat are saying that as well. <gasps> I nearly ran out of time on the timer, but you were right. You got correct, and the, the grid was busted. Excellent. Very good. We've certainly made up for the last round, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So much easier when you don't get questions about fruit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You can choose between sports, <laughs> showbiz, mystery, showbiz, music, and fruit. Uh, showbiz? showbiz. Uh, sorry, not fruit again. No. Sports, showbiz, mystery, showbiz, and music. Hmm. Mystery. Right, guys. Somebody said mystery. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go mystery then. You, you decide, mate. <laughs> Powerpuff, welcome to the stream, mate. Sorry, I saw you earlier there. How you doing, buddy? 
<laughs> he wants more freak related questions. Fair enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> Topaz is the birthstone of the, what month? Topaz. T O P A Z. Oh, is the oh, birthstone of what month? A April, B Topaz November, or C June? <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Oh, no <laughs> oh my God! Uh, let's go for C. 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 You're going C. June. Right. Oh, unlucky. That was incorrect. Oh. Not so worry. Not so worry. All right. So I think you you got onto 800 points there, but I think, oh, still, I think I think you still got a 10p, so you can. Join in next, but we've now moved on to team two. So I'll come back to you, gentlemen, shortly, hopefully. Okay, no. All right, okay. GG's. <laughs> Hello, team two. Thank you for being so time. patient. Are you, are you are alive they... and awake? Yeah, we have a bus at the old age. No, I have to go. I've compared to the Alps. It's just three of us now. Oh, we've lost a Nova bug. Where's he gone? He's tired and old. Unprepared. He's knackered and old, and he's cruel to bed, is he? Right. Yeah. Unlucky. All right, well, you're down to three. Um, if anyone wants to join in in the chat, get in the waiting room, and I'll drag you into their team quick. So if you missed out, you, now's your chance to join in. Oh, the week is left, so we are join right. us. Yeah, join us. All right, you got a, all right, lads, you've got a choice between showbiz, the Joker card, showbiz, tri uh, mystery, sorry, or music. <laughs> Hmm. Um, what about showbiz <laughs> in the middle? You fancy showbiz in the middle? What, yeah, what do you... Oh, what, what I'm, thinking? I'm thinking Joker. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Showbiz, go on. In the All right, we're doing showbiz. Come on, then. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Nova Bug's in the chat. It says, I heard that. <laughs> I'm, I'm in trouble now. Oh, and you're in trouble as well. <laughs> All right, good night. Good night, Chris. So <laughs> sorry to keep you waiting there. It's a bit of an experiment tonight. We've we found some things that work and things that don't work, so we'll adjust it for next time. All right. Good night, Chris. All right. Here, here comes your question, lads. Hey. Um, right. Here we go. Who played the role of spy Harry Palmer? Was it A, Roger Moore, B, Michael Caine, or C, Michael, Michael J. Fox? Michael Caine. Yeah. Michael Caine. You're going B, Michael Caine. And the <coughs> R&D is correct. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, it's like everyone in the chat room there is getting it right as well. Yeah, easy one. Right, you got a choice between sport or mystery. Oh, God, mystery. 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 All right. Mystery. Here we okay. go. Come on, bring what it. What does the mystery. prefix mega represent? What does the prefix mega represent? Is it A, 100, B, 1,000, or C, 1 million? A million, isn't it? Um, I'd say a million. Megabyte, million byte. I'm sure it's a million. You go C, C a million, yeah? C, C, yeah. We'll see then. Right, here we go. No, you are correct. Well done. Oh. Sweet. Right, you're on the board now. Right, showbiz or showbiz? Do you want the left one or the right one? Actually, it doesn't make a difference, oh. actually. <laughs> oh, um, if you go for the left one, you can answer a music question next. If you go for the right go, one, yeah, you get the joker. We'll go for the middle one, then we've got a choice. Yeah, please. Yeah. Good no. idea. Good idea. Good right, here we go. With which character do you associate Castle Grey School? Is it A, Dracula, B, Mary oh, Poppins, or C, He-Man? He-Man. 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 Definitely He-Man. Yeah, we're going He-Man. He power to pick up a flower. He-Man. But after an hour, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone in the chat there got that right, apart from Anna, who says Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> trust Anna. That, trust that Anna. Be... Trust Anna. Uh, okay, got a choice of music or Joker card. Joker. So if we, but if we play the Joker, does that mean we don't get any points? That's right. But you do move on to the next question, which will take you. If you get the next question right, you get taken into the money ways. We can oh, earn just money. Use... It's a bit, it's a bit to complicated to explain. Oh. But... What do you guys think? You might as well go for the points and get the points on. Yeah, right. Because uh, if it comes down to one, I'll go on the points score. Yep. Alright, okay. We'll do music. Alright, here we go. 
Which of the following bands are not Australian? Oh dear. Is it A, Tin Machine, <laughs> B, In Excess, or C, Midnight Oil? Which of the following bands machine. are not That's Australian? Tin Machine, isn't it? Tin Machine, are we going for that one, guys? Tin Machine, yeah. yeah. All right, Let's do we, it. All right, go for yeah, Tin Machine. Go. Let's uh, do uh, it. Yeah, Tin Machine, go for that. You are correct. And pretty oh, much yeah. everyone in the chat got that right. Unlucky Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going for the top card. This is a tough one. Should be. Are you ready? Oh. Uh, right, where in the body is the humerus? Is it A, the neck, arm. B, leg, or C, arm? It's the arm. It's the funny bone in the arm. Um, yeah, it's the C arm. C. C. All right. <laughs> you are correct. Well done. Yes. Well, that puts <laughs> you level with team one at the moment, I believe. I it might be wrong on that. Lot. Or you'll be close. Right on the money maze. See, we're doing better now. Nova Bug's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Right, okay, you got a choice of sh uh, hang on. Mind. All right, you got a choice of showbiz, mystery, mystery, music, or music. Mm, uh, something in the middle. Mystery in the middle? Yeah, I think the middle yeah, one's good. On. Yeah. Right. Is it trivia? Yes, it's trivia on my Yeah, usually it's trivia, yeah. Oh, uh, just a second, guys. Uh, Alphacet Paneer, yeah, good night, mate. Take care, dudes. And uh, thank you for the nice message there, man. See you soon, mate. And also, uh, Darren Connor as well. Good night, Darren, as well. Take care, buddy. Let's go, Dexter. Yeah. All right, we're going mystery in the middle, then. Yeah. Here we go. What is the most popular last name in the world? Is oh, it A, uh, Chang, B, Smith, or C, Jones? Chang, it's definitely Chang. You reckon? 20 years ago, 20 years ago it's would have been Chang. Yeah. There's, oh, there's... Okay. So many people in China and around around there with uh, with the name Chang must be. Yeah, go on then, Chang. Why not? You're gonna choose Chang, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. here we go. It was correct. Well done. <laughs> and most of the chat got it right, apart from Big Joffa. There you go. Okay, so on, it's either a showbiz or a mystery again. You can choose from. Uh... Or a mystery again. I'm not a big fan of the show bit stuff. Yeah, go on, then, mystery. Let's do it. <laughs> what planet has three rings encircling it? Is it Venus, A, B, Saturn, or C, Jupiter? Saturn. Saturn. Okay, Saturn. Saturn. It's gone. All right. You are correct. Yes. <laughs> Well done, chat as well. Most of the chat there getting it right. Who needs Nova Bug? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell him that. <laughs> Fagazi, welcome to the stream, buddy. I'm so, uh, good to see you again, mate. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Anyway, right, team two. You can choose showbiz or music. Uh... Can, I re can I request we do showbiz? And if we move up, then we'll do music next round. I'm not very good at music. Cool, yeah, I'm done with that. Right, okay. Yeah, showbiz. Here we go. No business like showbiz. What is Gentleman Ben's name? Is it A, Bill, B, Bob, or C, Ben? What is Gentleman Ben's name? Oh, I don't even know what this is. It's a showbiz it's question. Gentle, gentle ben, yeah. It's a, it's a bear. It's a TV program. Oh, yeah. God, uh, you from the, age, well, from the time the as a kid. Yeah, these are 70s. Yeah, I used to love that. I think it, I think it, 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 it's a great question. It must be Ben. So, is it Bill, Bob, ben, or Ben? 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 Yeah. Could be a ben. trick one, yeah. We're going to choose Ben, yeah. then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> correct. Oh. <laughs> That's correct. That's a good question. Of course it is. <laughs> um, right, here we go. Uh, show me some music. Yeah, Clint Howard was in it. So, you're happy with music, then, yeah? Music. Yeah. All right, yeah. music. Here we go for the whopping ten pence. Which <laughs> with which band is Mark play. Shaw the lead singer? Is it A Simple Minds, B Marillion, or C Ven Jericho? 
Which band is Mark Shaw the lead singer of? Simple Minds, Marillion, or Then Jericho? Oh, ten pences on the line, guys. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I was I G, I was G's having a strop in the chat. Number no, one, B. Marillion. I don't know. I think it's Simple Minds. Uh, what should we go with A? I don't know. Go, just go Simple Minds then. All right. Simple, we'll what go I didn't Simple think Minds. Absolute guess. Yes. All right. Here we go. <laughs> it was wrong. Ooh. And you've lost ten pens. Wow. Right. Oh, we now move over to Team Three. So I'm gonna come. I'll come back to you, lads, in a bit. All right, GG. Of Hello, go. the four amigos. You are back yeah, in it. Oof. Oh, OSG, you, yeah. were you were having a strop in me chat. Oh, <laughs> still have one. Still have one in the chat. <laughs> oh, you should have heard what he's talking about, you, mate. Jesus. Oh, really? <laughs> long, long enough for me to load Flight Simulator. Oh God. Is it? Am I, 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 I going to have to get the ban ammo out here? What kind of questions that? What's the only question to ask? <laughs> Gentle Ben, oh, what's it called? Oh, Ben, oh, yeah. yeah what's Gentle Ben's name? Jesus I, Christ. I, I did write the questions, you know. You didn't read it out right, eh? Why did you call him Gentle Ben? Look how many well, PC ones well. well. you got Still first time round. <laughs> anyway. I don't know who Gentle Ben is, Cycle. I, I, I do now. I, I just I just had a mental block for a, for a second there. Clint Howard was in Gentle Ben, wasn't he? Clint Howard's brother. Ah, does he now? <laughs> See, that was more boring than I thought. Sorry, move <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I thought, I thought it was Kenny Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, Ruben, Ruprim, good night, dude. We'll catch you soon, dude. Have a nice weekend, man. Take care. All right, lads, you got a choice of showbiz, music, mystery, showbiz, or mystery. Showbiz for me, what do you reckon? Well, yeah, crack up, yeah, yeah. do it. Showbiz, we'll, we'll go for one near the middle, right? We'll give you a choice and then after. Yep. yep. <clears throat> All right. In which country is the jewel in the crown set? In which country is the jewel in the crown set? Is it A, America, yeah. B, oh. India, or C, in England? India. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. going yeah. in India. Because they're on top of the chain yeah. in yeah, India. Yeah, Raj. And it is correct. Well done. Right, music or showbiz? No one wants to say it. Music. Music. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right. We need to crack on anyway. Right. Who had a hit with "Just Another Ordinary Day"? Was it A. Howard Jones, B. Johnny Hates Jazz, or C. Curiosity Kills the Cat? It, who who it, had a hit with "Just Another uh, Ordinary Day"? Was it C? Yeah, I'm happy to go with C. Definitely yeah, go with C. C. De definitely by here. Yeah. C, C, C. You're going C. Yeah, go with C. All right. Quick buzzer. Quick buzzer round. <laughs> yeah. That's correct. A few people in the chat got that right there. Lucas, Crazy Bob, and Jimmy. Nice. Okay. Right, it's going to be a showbiz question, guys. All right, here we go. Who is Robert McCall better known as? Is it the A, equalizer. Spider Man, B, the equalizer, <laughs> or C, Columbo? Edward Woodward. Might be Jenny Woodward. You're going to be. I think he's going... best known as Gentle Ben. Gentle Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Gentle equalizer. Gentle, Gentle, Gentle Bob. Gentle Bob. The letter D was invented because otherwise Edward Woodward would be, would be called Ewa <laughs> 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 Alright, you're going equalizer, yeah? Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Who went for Colombo? Bloody hell! And Andrea Wyatt went for Colombo. <laughs> Andrea, bless you. <laughs> All right, it's a mystery question. <laughs> All right, mystery. here we go. What is the smallest planet? Hang on, haven't we had this one? Oh, look, we got a trick question again. It was Pluto in the 80s, wasn't it? Uh, oh, was Mercury, no, wasn't it? is this the Team Yellow Belly question? Pluto, yeah. Mercury. Yeah, 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 Mercury. Doesn't, doesn't even bloody count now. <laughs> right, well, you've got a, yeah, an advantage on this one. Mercury? Yeah, it's correct. The advantage of hindsight. 
<laughs> All right, here's the top card then, and this is the uh, supposedly more difficult question. Oh. Can I just what? say that I knew that that wasn't Pluto in the 80s, didn't I, everybody? Didn't I say it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Point, I was really smug by getting it right, and I was really wrong. All right, what is the main ingredient of Stargazy Pie? What is the main oh, ingredient fish, of Stargazy Pie? Is it sausage, it's... fish, or potatoes? It's fish because they're all looking up. You got the head sticking out, the potato. Uh-huh. Ooh, we're going Unless it's sausages like sticking fish out. Fish heads? Yeah, I'm sure it's fish. I've heard it. That sounds disgusting. Captain Bird's Eye <laughs> serves it at all of his parties. <laughs> <laughs> so, team, are we going with B? We're going with. Is, was that Joffa who said that? It was, yeah. Yeah, go on. Right, you're going B. All right, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's correct. <laughs> you know well, what? Well Juffa, Juffa's not just minted shoot 'em ups. He's might be the brainiest person I've met. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're now on to the money maze rounds. All right, First time, yes. Yeah. I've never said that. I was too. How many? Actually, a few people in the chat got that right. Well done, Andrea. Well done, Jimmy, and well done, Lucas. I've got some really numb, like dumb mates. So, so. <laughs> well, hang on, Lu- Lucas. <laughs> like you know, your best mate. He's been getting. He's just hovering over A, B, and C. He's just hovering over A, B, and C, and whatever gets pressed first is the answer for him. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Poor Lucas. All right, leave it's him alone. Right. Uh, music, mystery, music, mystery, or the Joker card. Middle music, I mean. Middle music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. music. Yeah, 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 yeah music. Not mess about. Let's get on. Yeah, middle of the road. Who Come recorded on, oh. London O Hall 4? Oh, hang on, no, sorry, London Zero Hall 4. Who recorded London Zero Hall 4? Was it ABC, Erasure, the House or the Martins. House Martins? House Martins. Yeah. House Martins, isn't it? Yeah. 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 You all said that there. That is correct. Most of the chat going for that as well. Well done, chat. Yeah. All right, you got a choice of mystery or sport. Anything about sports? Yeah, go for sport. Go for sport. Yeah, go All for right, sport. Have a no, yeah, we didn't yeah. want to throw it away. What's the matter? 10p. David Jenner, welcome <laughs> to the stream, by the way. Welcome, David. This could buy us 10% of a miles bar. <laughs> <laughs> right, how many medals did Mark Spitz win in the 1972 Olympics? Was it A5, B3, or C7? Mark Spitz win in the 1972 Olympics. Come on, come on, OSG. You were, you were about 20 years old then, weren't you? What was he doing? Was he spitting? It was is thousands. That what, is that how he could spit? Yeah. Um. It was thousands in the spitting. Seven. It's got to be the biggest. Mm. Go for it. Yeah. Why not? I got seven. C, seven. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Mark's close. It's bloody well <laughs> correct. Yeah. He won. He won ridiculous amounts. They were just um... chucking in medals for walking down the street. <laughs> Spitting on the floor. Yeah. Have a medal. Spit David medal. Jenna called it. He said loads. Uh, Andrew got it wrong there. More than lucky or lucky. All right. Two showbiz questions. I'll go for the one in the middle, then you got a choice in the next round. All right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. Which TV detective did Stacey Keach play? Was it A, Ooh, Jim Mike Rockford, Hammer. B, Shoestring, or C, Mike Hammer? Mike Hammer without a shadow of a doubt. There we go. Oh, that sounds very cold. There you go. Yeah, well, it definitely yeah. wasn't Jim Rockford, was it? Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, Is that the Rock Files? Rock Files. Yeah. 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 James Garner. James Garner, isn't it? Yeah. I remember that they had a really good theme tune that I now cannot remember. <laughs> All right, so we're going Mike Hammer, yeah? Yep. All right. Yeah, most of the chat going for that as well. Well done, chat. See, Lucas has been getting it all right. Yeah, he's got really quick internet for Google. <laughs> <laughs> Even the stopped clock is right twice a day. <laughs> all right, we've got mystery or showbiz. Showbiz, please. Yeah, yeah showbiz. showbiz. Yeah. All right, let's go showbiz. All right, for 200 points, who lives at 32 Windsor Gardens? Oh, man, isn't it? Is it A, oh, James Bond? B, Danger Mouse. C, oh, Paddington Pear. Uh, Paddington Pear. Paddington. Yeah, Paddington. Yeah, I thought it was Danger Mouse. No, but he said Paddington before it even came up. 
So I think I I, Oh Paddington, oh, okay, fair enough. He lives in a he lives in a uh, in a post box. Post box. Yeah. But I was quite sure what the address of it was. Was it all, was that have an address? Post 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 <laughs> yeah, this was of really the post box, Would it be per infinitely delivered? <laughs> <laughs> that's blown my that's blown my little mind. Right, are we going? Yeah. Moving on. I'm going to be left to that. That's it. What are we Paddington. going? Paddington Bear then? Yeah. Definitely Paddington. All right. Yeah. Oh. And if you've not seen the two films, by the way, they're absolutely fantastic. Oh, they, they are. are they're great. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. First yeah. one made me cry. And me. Oh, me cry. <laughs> and me. Not many in the Is chat that... dropped an answer in there. Good work. Uh, Maud and David work. got it right. But uh, that was the only two people. Lucas got right. Lucas went quiet. He's, he was, his Google Foo left it, let, let him down. Oh, he said C. <laughs> he said C as well. Oh, oh, was that... oh, no, that was for the last question. That was her last question, yeah. Mm. In that must have gone off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, we're on the top. We're on the top card now, lads. All right. Here we go. What is the tallest building in the United States? Is it? A oh God. Is it a was, Empire, was it? Empire yeah, State was Building, it, it, World no. Trade Center, or Sears Building? Uh, oh no. World Ooh. Trade Center, wasn't it? It was yeah. one. Yeah, it was higher than Empire State Building. All right. So you're, you're going World Trade, yeah? Yeah. yeah I think. Sober faces. World Trade. It's wrong. Is it? Oh, no, it was. Like, oh, because it was C. How can that be wrong? Well, we don't get to see what the answer was, sadly, though. Maybe so, because Rivers uh... are taller. All right. I'm going to Google that, I'm sure. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, well, we'll f let, let us know in the uh, chat there. Uh, most, most of the chat there went for B, actually, as well. So, um, Lucas yeah. went for Sears. We'll have to find it. You have to Google it. Sears. Right. You're out for now. I think you've got. I think you can still come back in again. And but we're gonna to have to go to team two now. So GG's boys. Thanks, sir. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hello, team two. Uh oh. Who's, Hello. Who's, who's yeah? You're in again. Oh, cry. Right. Four for the win. That was the team name, right? Uh, you're all ready. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I heard some weird noises in the background there. Was someone making a cup of tea there or something? Uh, possibly. Oh, not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who cares? Right, you got a choice of a Joker card, a Joker card, a mystery card, music, or music. Um, mystery, yeah. You're going mystery. Mystery. Right, mystery. right, mystery it is. Off we it's go. A... How many gallons in a barrel of oil? Is it A35, B26, or C42? Mm. Oh, my word. <laughs> we could be out on the first hurdle <laughs> here. So the question again is how many gallons in a barrel of oil is it A35, B26? 42. 42. 42. Okay. You're going 42. Yeah. Alright, okay. I know what you say. It's correct. Oh. Yes. Saved, thank you. <laughs> Hang on, what, someone's feeding you answers? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got a choice of music or sport? I, I think I think these guys want music rather than sport, yeah? I think sports can be too hard for us, I think. Music yeah, it's, really. it's too dated. We'll stick with music, All which right, is yeah. also pretty dated. <laughs> Here we go, for 100 points, who recorded the album Singer Longer War Years? Sing along a war years. Was it A. Des O'Connor, B. Iron Maiden, or C. Max Bygraves? I would think that's Max Bygraves. I mean, it's it's either Des O'Connor or Max Bygraves. It's likely Max Bygraves. He sang that kind of stuff. He sang uh, sort of uh, war. Uh, Max Bygraves. There you go. I'm with you. C. Yeah, okay. I think that's that's good logic there, Musa. I think you're going to be right there. I, definitely not Iron Maiden. I can tell you that. <laughs> Right, well done. That was correct. I think my, uh, everyone in the chat got that right as well. So you've got a music question or a Joker card. Mm. Mm. You guys want? Do we go for the Joker? Yeah. Let's go do Joker, then we can pick. Go on, get yeah, Joker. Joker. All right, yeah, it's a free pass. I'll just say to you and everyone else watching as well, this game doesn't show you what score each of the teams are on, so that's a bit... 
Yeah. Just pen and paper out. Yeah, I've been trying to jot them down on the notepad here, but I've, I've lost track now, about half an hour ago. Right. Oh, you got, you got a choice of another Joker or a music card? Music? Music. Yeah, let's go music. Perfect. Right. Right, who recorded the album Dark Side of the Moon? Was it A. Oh, Pink yes. Floyd, oh, oh, yeah. Pink Status Quo, or C. Queen? Please Pink say Status Quo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's A, isn't it? Come on. Don't Correct. Welcome back, Retro Lim, as well. Everyone, everyone got it right in the chat there. <laughs> right, okay, we're on the top card. Right, concentrate. Oh, here we go. Right, come on. Right. Here we Are go. Are you ready? Oh, mm. on, press the wrong key. Who designed the first Kodak camera in 1888? Was it A, Eastman, B, Houston, or C, Kodak? <laughs> oh, Christ. Um, I, I, is it C? I, Should we I go with C? Eastman. I think it was Eastman. George Eastman. That looks like it to me. Eastman. Eastman. You want to go A Eastman? Yeah. Yeah. I'll go with you guys. All right, then. Choosing A for Eastman, and that is correct. Well oh. done. Thank God for good. All right. Grid busted. You want some money maze, ladies and uh, gentlemen? Oh. Right. God. Go okay, on, so you got a choice of mystery, mystery, joker, sport, or showbiz. Um, second mystery gives us some choices. I'm with you. I'm with you on that one. Second mystery. Yeah, go on, All right, we'll go second mystery there then. Cool. And the question is, what does a, a mycologist study? Is it A, oh, fungi, fungus. B, Michaels, what? Or C, feet? What does a mycologist study? Fungi. Mycologist, I just got it. <laughs> Michaels. Fungi. Fungi. Yeah. Fungi. Fungi, yeah. You're, you're, going, yeah. you're going fungi. Yep. Alright, okay. That was correct. Yes. All right. I knew a mushroom once, he was a fungi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do we get points for that? <laughs> No. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> right, showbiz question. Which pop star starred in Desperately Seeking Susan? Is it okay. A, Madonna, B, Sting, or C, David Bowie? It's Madonna. It's Madonna. You got yeah, a big you go, there, yeah. You going Madonna? Yeah. All right. Correct. And the chat got it all correct again as well. It's a pretty easy one, I think. Um... Got a sport or a joker card? Oh god, joker, yeah. Yeah. You joker in, yeah? Oh, oh, Alright, yeah. okay, moving on. We've got a free pass. And then we've got music. Music, here we go. Uh... Oh, Craig, take care, matey. Good night, dude. <laughs> Bye, Have a Craig. good weekend, mate. Alright, here's your music question, lads. Alright. Uh, how many members are there in the band Brother Beyond? How many oh, members are there in the band Brother Beyond? Is there seven, three, or four? Um, uh, I can't even tell you. Uh, I don't know. Oh, bugger. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'd be guessing. Anyone would get a better guess than... Uh, Complete guess. Four. A, I'd say. A. You gave the seven. <laughs> yeah. so a seven, B three, or C four? What do you reckon, guys? My guess would be to go in the middle, at, which would be four, but I haven't a clue. So if you've got any idea, then just go for it. If you've got. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm happy. Go for four, then. Four, then. All right, I'm going to have to rush you. It's correct! Hey! Well hey! Oh, we're certainly out then. Well, how many people got that in the chat there? Crazy Ball got it. Jimmy got it. Um, and Crazy Ball. Yeah, Crazy Ball. Well yeah, what Simon said. Frantic Googling taking place. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> Put the camera on the whole camera. Right. 
Here's your t you're on the top card. It's supposed to be a bit harder, this one. Mm -hmm. What was a helot? What was a helot? Spelled H E L O T. Is it A, a boat, B, a surf, or C, a weapon? A helot. I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking. Uh, 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 a surf or weapon? It's not a boat. Sure it's not a boat. Yeah. Go with the weapon. Just go for C. Go for what Charter said. Yeah, well, C. Don't look, don't look at yeah, Charter. Yeah, the yeah, surface, the, the, that's like a harlot, so... Uh, yeah, uh, C. Oh, C. You're, going, you're going for a weapon. Okay. We're not cheating, we promise. It's wrong! Ooh! You shouldn't have looked at the chat. They let you down. It's a bloody boat. <laughs> 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 but you still have 10p, so you can carry on. You have 10p from previous round. I'll just, I'll, I will Google it myself. Helot. If it was a boat, that's it. It was I'm, a surf. What is it? A oh. surf. A member yep. of a class of serfs in ancient oh. Sparta. My word. And there you go. That, that was a bit of a tough one, that. that All right. Very yeah, we're still on your team then. Uh, you can carry on. You got showbiz, music, music, sports, or mystery. Um, uh, mystery. Why didn't gone? Uh, mystery. Oh, yeah. Okay. You want to go mystery? Oh, that, mm, that means we've got sport next. Oh, oh, wow. oh we want mystery then. All right, you got <laughs> sport. <laughs> you got sport next. What is the capital of Fiji? Is it A. Suva, B. Fujitsu, or C. Fiji City? Mm -hmm. A or C. Suva? Suva? Fiji City. Suva? Yeah, go with Suva. Hey. Fiji City is too obvious. Hey. And I promise I did not Google that answer. <laughs> Much. <laughs> so you're going A. Suva? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. It is correct. Well done. Oh, yeah. um, quite a few people got that wrong. Steve, H Lucas, and Henry got that right. Well done. All right, sport question. Yes. Right. Sport from the eighties. Excellent. Oh God. Nice. Where does squash player Ross Norman come from? <laughs> right. Is it A. Canada, oh, B. Oh, Wales, oh. or C. New Zealand? Wales. Yeah, wherever. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. <laughs> New Zealand. Oh, did somebody <laughs> choose something there? Wales, is that? New Zealand. We've had B and C. You go New Zealand. Oh, let's go with C then. Watch this now, guys. So you go New Zealand, yeah? New Zealand. Right. It's correct. Oh my god. Work. Really? <laughs> this is interesting because you got another sport question. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Who played Wigan in the 1988 Challenge Cup final? Oh. <laughs> if you get this right, I think someone's been Googling. But um, A, is it A, Halifax, B, Hull, or C, Widnes? Hmm. No, what's the answer about Googling? Hmm. Halifax. Halifax, by any chance? You going Halifax? Oh, yeah, go with that then. All right then. Let's do it. It's correct. Yes. <laughs> Luck is on our side. <laughs> hmm. All right, music question next. <laughs> Did anyone get that right in the chat? Def I'm def Quite I'm a few people went for B. Bloody hell. Mm. No one got that right. Music question. Right, here we go. Who had a hit with Sweet Dreams? Is it A, Bonnie Tyler, B, Eurythmics, or C, Janet Jackson? Rhythmics. It's Eurythmics, yeah. Definitely yeah. B. Yeah, of course yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah, that Yellow belly cool shenanigans. Oh dear. <laughs> On my mother's ashes. <laughs> if there were shenanigans, we wouldn't have kept getting them wrong. We promise you, we will not get on these answers much. <laughs> I hope not. All right, here's your top card, which is a harder question. Which U.S. state is called the Cotton State? Is it A. Washington, B. Alabama, or C. Georgia? Oh. Either Alabama or Georgia. I think it's Alabama. Yeah. I think it's Georgia. 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 You going Georgia? Georgia? Okay. Oh. 
It is wrong. Um, what? 2,400 points there for your team at the end of that. So, Sorry, let's, so we got to work out who got the um, best scores there. So team one was it? They were the eight-bit boobies, weren't they? Right. Team two, you were called four for the win. Two for the win now. <laughs> Team 3 didn't get there anywhere at all, so... Four for the win actually won that, I think. Yes! And that's you guys! Well done! Grief. You we were hardly most... on it. You got the Wait, most... can we just cla Wait, can you just clarify, we did not Google the answers much. <laughs> oh, I didn't Google the answers at all. We didn't Google at all. We are just... It's, we just have huge brains. That's what it is. Exactly. <laughs> Do you reckon a re oh dear Juffa's calling for a recount? <laughs> I, I think okay. lads, you got up to like I know you definitely got up to about twelve hundred points, and you got a few more after that. But um, team two did get two two thousand four hundred, and if you got over two thousand, you would have been on the I score table, uh, Juffa, and you're not. So uh, Sorry. suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> Salt in the chat there. Um, because it's getting a bit late now, guys, I think um, uh, I'm going to call it on the quiz. Um, I think um, we need to, I'll have to think, find a better game. The, the questions are all right. They're a little bit easy, but it, it doesn't, one team just dominates for too long. So we'll find a better, we'll find a better quiz game next time. It's and good then, fun. Uh, it's very yeah. good fun. And we can have the same, the same teams again if you want to. So if you're all available and stuff. <laughs> Right, so well done team two, the uh, four for the win, congratulations guys, well and yes, it, apparently you did do a lot better without an overbug, so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> alright, GG's man, mm. alright, I'm going to speak to you guys. teams quickly, Wait, team one, right. I, don't, I don't know if you were listening there, sadly you didn't win, and we're going to, we're going to call it, we're going to call it, Sorry? I'm calling shenanigans. <laughs> I, can, I could hear that. I could hear keyboards clicking then. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. yeah. Well, do you know what? This is a little difficult to do because obviously the chat will want, want to answer the questions as well. Yeah. There's no Only way to stop that. But yeah, I know. I know. But uh, well, I'm going to call it on the quiz for tonight, lads, because it's like nearly one in the morning and we'll perhaps have a, just a few random game requests now. And as I said to the other team, we will that game. That, this game put trivia from Codemasters. It's good, but questions are a little bit easy in places, and uh, one team just tends to dominate for too long. You don't get the other teams having their turns quick enough. Yeah, yeah perhaps yeah. it needs we to need rotate to find... a bit more. Yeah, we yeah. Need, we need to find a different game. For yeah, time. I mean, the, there is a few other quiz games. Uh, obviously, you've got Bullseye. You've yeah. got. Um, oh, what was it? Trivial Pursuit. Um, there's a Bob few. Busters, few others. I think yeah. I think Bob Bob's Full House as well. I think is there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm oh, not sure. Oh, what's oh, there's the one another with, quiz. Um, uh, Paul Daniels. Oh, uh, 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 I forgot the name. Yeah, I always forget the bloody name. I think oh, Mike, Mike had it on his stream the other week, last mm. week. That's tragic. Oh. One of them. No uh, strike. No, not strike. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I can't remember now. Anyway, one of them. Every second counts. That was it. Every that's second. it. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a game there as well for that. But, uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you very much, gentlemen, for taking part tonight. Well done. Oh, uh, on behalf of the Abit Boobies, I'd like to say thank you for letting us join in. Right, thank you, guys. And then, like okay. I said, there's a bit of an experiment tonight, and uh, we'll um, we'll get. We'll get everyone more involved next time in a bit better yeah. structure. So, uh, all right, thank you, lads. Take care and well done to the uh, eight bit boobies. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Take care. Next time. Oh. Okay, lads, as well. Just to say, thank you for taking part. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it there for the quiz. If you didn't hear in the uh, stream. Uh, there is it. Yeah. Perfect. It's on 1 a.m. And uh, again, sorry if there's like large amount of times where you guys were waiting for other teams as well. Um, you dominated on the first, first, first round. Didn't yeah, you, 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 kicked us out. Time, you kicked us out of that. 
<laughs> yeah. Did I? How but did I do won? that? Because you said, right, years have won too much. I'm just going to say that's the first round finished. Yeah. And then you <laughs> the game, so you lost our score. So we, we technically we technically win. Oh, well, I'll, I, I was, was going to do best of. I was, I was probably going to do best of three tonight. So uh, you were like, <laughs> you, you are one all with uh, the uh, four for the win team. So, uh, but it went on too long. So uh, we'll have to find a different. Like. We'll, have to, we'll have to find a different <laughs> quiz game next time. I tell you what, from our perspective though, it was, it was a good laugh. Because we're well, yeah, we chat actually. Yeah. Well, that's the whole point. Wait, you guys can... watch the last bit. Or was I for? We've just been talking. I couldn't even hit the last bit. We didn't even see what you were going on. We were busy chatting away, yeah. <laughs> All um, today with keyboards smashing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much, lads. Cheers, uh, that was fun. Bro. We'll Thanks, do some like this again okay. in the future. All good right, nice. take care. Have a good night. Bye. There we go, chat. So um, thank you guys for everyone taking part in the quiz there. Um, I hope you had a good time as well. Oh, OSG says worst quiz host ever. Worst contestant ever. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. We're gonna we're gonna do some games now. So I'm gonna take some requests in the chat for uh, um, requests for Amstrad games. Oh, crazy board. With a 4-6 ball there. Let's give him a... Oh my gosh. I think he's had some sugar there. Since I forgot to donate tonight, greetings. Oh, I forgot to donate tonight. Greetings to the winning team also. Well, I don't think we had a clear winner tonight. It was, I'm going to call it a draw between... The four amigos and the eight bit boobies. There you go. But Crazy Borg, thank you very, very much. Can we have bananas in the chat for uh, Crazy Borg there, please, guys? Let's see. The uh, I can't type at the moment. Let's see the bananas rain down for Crazy Borg. <laughs> thank you, mate. Thank you very, very much. Lovely to have you back here, mate, as well. Uh, all the best to you, dude. Um. Oh, good night, uh, Jimmy. Take care, Jimmy. Uh, thank you to your Dino earlier as well, mate. And all the best, Jane. Have an awesome weekend. And uh... right, okay. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna nip and get a quick drink from the fridge. All right. Um, and just wash my hands and stuff because I'm all sticky after spending a bit of my drink on it earlier. And I'll be back with you guys in about 30 seconds, a minute. And then I'll have a look what the requests have come in. What requests? What games are gonna do for the last hour of the stream? <laughs> all right, guys. Be right back. I'll put the music up a touch as well because I turned it down for quiz. Right, there we go. Be right back. One minute. All right, chat. Thanks for sticking with us there, and uh, let's have a look. Um, did you enjoy? Did you, yeah. Did you guys enjoy that quiz? Do you want? Would you like more of them in the future? And would you like to take part in them as well? Let me know if you enjoy that. Thank you, Musa. That's nice there. Thank you, mate. My pleasure, dude. And well done, Demetrius, as well. <laughs> oh, time to head off. Good night, Demetrius, as well. Good night, dude. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's Blockbusters as well, Andrew. Yeah, that's correct. 
Um, <laughs> Jolly Boy requests Fiendish Freddy. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Retro on them. Um, put in Yeehaw Kung Fu 2. I'll just pick. I'll just choose the one that ones that sort of stand out the best, maybe. None of your biz with Bactron. Uh, oh god, Beachhead 2 retro limb, that's poop. <laughs> uh, oh, did I miss a 199 dono? What was What was that, Pete there? Did I did I miss a dono, Pete? I don't think so. It's not showing my end. I'll just uh, log in and out of Streamlabs again because it was having problems earlier. Rob DeLorean, nice request, but um, Jigsaw Thousand is going to be heavily, heavily featured on the Amstreams next month because it's the 30th anniversary. So uh, I'm going to hold off on that one if that's all right, Rob. But you can request another one if you want. Um... Retro Limb, God, has got three requests. <laughs> He's a greedy bugger, that one. Uh, okay, what else have we got there? Wayne with uh, Finders Keepers. Mark Wheatley with Shogun. All right, I'll drop these down. David wants and Rick Dangerous. God, I swore I'd never play that bloody thing again. <laughs> it's a great game. I spent a whole stream trying to beat it, and I'm like, <laughs> oh god. Uh, yes, please, more quizzes in the future. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Marks of great fun. Right. Oh, cool. Cool. Thank you, Andrea. Oh, I was hoping you'd join in tonight, actually, but you got in late. Ne we'll get you in next time, Andrea. Don't worry. Trivial Pursuit is probably a good cause, I remember. I'll have a look into that. Thank you, Musa. David Jenner was Robin Hood as well. Presumably the first, what, first game. Uh, Jolly Boy requests Xenon. Okay. Actually, a couple of people did there. Uh, I don't think that was... Did, they, did we get a Young Ones game? I thought it only came out in the specy in the end, but I can check it out. Rob DeLorean, Wonder Bra in Monsterland. <laughs> you mean Wonder Boy? All right, okay. Um, what was the one that a couple of people were posting there? Xenon. Actually, a couple of people requested Xenon, so we go for the most requested game there. Even though it was only two people. <laughs> we'll check out Xenon first. And, oh bugger, I'm going to have to download the bloody disc for it. Bear with a second, guys. <clears throat> oh, you were wrecked. After sitting up all night with everyone last night. Yes, we were chatting late, Andrea. Don't blame you being shattered. <laughs> right, just downloading the disc now, guys. Sorry. Uh, BQ bed. Getting through a capture code there. It's really, really awesome to see over 50 people still watching at Gone 1 in the morning as well. So, respect, guys. Respect. That makes me very, very, very happy. Right, Xenon. I remember this wasn't great though on the Amstrad. I think this one was like way too slow or something. But we'll check it out. I think it looked quite nice, this one. Oh yeah, sorry. We did miss a dono. Did, you, did I get... J Jimmy, did your dono appear? And Lewis, did your dono appear? Oh, no, Jimmy's was two hours ago. It was Lewis's we missed. Sorry, Lewis. Right, we've had a problem with the super chats. Not getting picked up by... Um, um, Lewis, thank you very, very much. We are the champions, so much salt. <laughs> Let's give you a load of dancing sugars because that's your third dono of the night. 
Can we have some bananas in the chat one more time, if you don't mind, guys, for Lewis? Because he's a lovely, lovely, lovely man. Let's see the bananas come in. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Lewis. I'm not get. I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not going to get involved with who won and who didn't. There. <laughs> Russ was in the chat there as well. <clears throat> Retro Lins is Fatima Whitbread's heavyweight soccer plates. Oh, God. <laughs> Yellow Buddy, take care, buddy. Thanks for joining in, mate. It's a, yeah, it's a late one for you tonight. Um, good luck in your early start tomorrow, mate. Sorry. <laughs> take care, Yellow Buddy. Thank you again, mate, for the 464 earlier as well. Uh, Anna says, I'll join next time. Quit me old throat. It was giving me pain today. No problem, Anna. No problem. We'll have to get you in next time, definitely. Definitely. <clears throat> right. Okay. Thank you again, Lewis. Enjoy your rustlers and bananas there. Apparently, it's supposed to be music in this game. I'm not hearing anything at the moment. Joystick, press 5 to stop. Oh, there we go. Good lord, that's slow. Let's go. We go over that. Can't. Ah! Oh, it doesn't, doesn't bloody reach him. Oh, I can't hit that. So what do we do? Just avoid it. Is there a key to swap between this and your ship or something? I'm sure there's a key to switch between that and your ship or something, isn't there? Uh, let me look at the controls here quickly. Let me check here. One sec, guys. I can't bloody see the controls here. Right. Uh... To change crafts, press space or rapidly wiggle the joystick. Oh, okay. All right, I got it. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. there's a, oh, oh, there's a dono. I missed a dono. One sec. Oh my God, David Jenner. Sorry, let me uh, see if I can sort that. The super chat with Streamlabs isn't working very well. Uh, I'll have to log out and log in again. Sorry about this. Give me a sec, guys. Why is Streamlabs so slow tonight? It's ridiculous. Oh, it's not come up there. That fixed it last time, logging in and out, and it's not doing it. <sighs> Thank you, Streamlabs. Yep, that's not worked. I'll have to log out again. Try it. Sorry, sorry guys, just trying to fix a technical issue here.
I will get to I, I will get to you, don't worry, don't worry. I don't see it in Streamlabs. I don't know how I can play the alert. That that's really peed me off. Let's control F five it. Ah, I'll try and log out and log in one more time. Sing the alert. <laughs> I could do. Gorka, good night, dude. Good night, Gorka. You take care, dude. Thank you for the banana and potassium knowledge earlier. <laughs> take care. And uh, Mark Wheatley as well. Good night. Good night as well, my friend. Good night. Simmy, welcome, my friend, as well. Good, good evening, sir. It's not picking up the... Um, super chat so if you do a super chat guys it looks like streamlabs is just not put, picking it up so um where was where was it let me find it david jenner thank you very 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 much for the 10 pounds there david um um let me give you let me do something at least I want to give you loads of dancing Alan Sugars and fireworks. This is for David Jenner. Thank you, David. You donated ten pounds. So watch your bids for years. Really appreciate them all, mate. Well, thank you, David. That is really, really, really kind of you. I'm sorry you didn't get the alert all pop up and stuff like that. But um, hopefully, the, all the dancing Lord Sugars will make up for that. And I'll spam you some bananas in the chat as we do here. Bananas in the chat. One more time for David Jenner there. Thank you, David. And also, then coming in, Demetrius Papakos with the five pounds um, through the super chat there. Thank you, mate. Bananas as well for Demetrius as well. Thank you, mate. That's very, very kind of you too. Um, thank you, guys. Especially, um, especially David for the very lovely message there. That means a lot to me. Sorry, that has come through to me. It's just the alert system isn't picking it up for some weird reason. If it does, eventually I will replay the alert. But thank you, guys. Thank you very, very, very much. Cheers. I better get back to the gameplay because it's not all about my bloody alerts and things not working and don't know. So we're here to relax and have games and stuff like that. Right. It's still not worked. Right. I'm going to pause my music here, and let's try Xenon here. Apparently you need to shake the craft left and right. Or space bar to take off. That's not working. Right, does anybody know in Xenon, the Amstrad, how you're supposed to change craft? Juffa, good night, Juffa. Take care, dude. Oh, Lewis as well. Take care, Lewis. Thank you again, mate. Uh, good night and have an awesome weekend, guys. I was trying space bar. Let's try a few random keys. Oh, I found it. It wasn't space. It was something else. Uh, B. You have to press B. God, this doesn't have chug along this one. Why are they chosen keys on the keyboard for this? You want to play on joystick. You stuck in work till 8am, Re um, Retro and Lim. Unlucky, dude. Unlucky. I mean, th th this looks nice. It the music is decent. 
it just chugs along a bit, really. Not the smoothest of scrolls, but it's passable. Decent sound effects. happening here oh god we're just scrolling through nothing for ages and all of a sudden this appears Oh, it's quite a lag on firing as well. If I'm honest, guys, I think this is the furthest I've ever bothered to play in uh, Xenon on the Amstrad before, before I got bored. It's hardly one of your bullet hell shoot em ups, is it, Juffa? Oh, well, Juffa went to bed, though, didn't he? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's unplayable, Lucas. It's just way too freaking slow. That's so slow. Matrix bullets, yeah. Spin on Al. Yeah, I think so. I just want to. We'll kill the boss, see what the next level's like for a little bit, and then, yeah, we're moving on. But because it's so slow, it makes it easy. Hang on, I might get crushed here by it. You son of a bitch! You speak the emulator? I can, but like, I, I like to play games as they were meant at, at the speed they were meant to be played at. As, as, sorry. I think that's the start of level one, isn't it? It's taking us right back to the bloody start. Unlucky. Right, let me uh, just log in something here. Right, let's have a look at the request then. Um, oh yes, Wayne wanted some finders keepers. Let's have a look at that. I might not know how to play this very well, Wayne. So you might have to guide me a bit. Finders Keepers by David Jones and Ed Hickman. Magic Knight wishes to become a member of the Polygon Table. The king has sent him to the dreaded castle of Spritelands to prove his worth. Right, he has two choices. One, escape from the castle excuse me, of Spritland. Collect as much treasure as possible. Press any key to continue. Okay. Hey, Charles, use a cursor keys or joystick to guide Magic Knight and keys G to get, T to trade, D to drop, E to examine. Oh, God. Am I going to have to make a note of that? Uh, G, G to get, T, trade, D equals drop, E equals examine. Right, I got that. I got you. I got you. The King's Palace. Oh, I've been zapped. Whoa! Right, can you not jump? Oh, he can. Alright, okay, the fire doesn't do out. It's up. To jump. I mean, uh, oh god. What are we doing and where are we going? Can't 
jump there. Okay, I'm, well, I'm struggling there. How did I get up here before? From there, okay. Okay. Uh, go the far right of the maze past, past the blue dots. Okay. I'm going to see if this is an object. Oh, no. We're getting... Examine, you found a tube of glue. Right, and when we, I, I picked it up, and it says you have some cheese, Olympic medal, some cat meat, and tube of glue. Seems to be a jellyfish there. Do we want that, or does that. Oh, that hurts! The retro nemesis has to go right here, didn't he? Uh, and I can't get past that. Uh! Yeah, controls aren't great on this. Oh, bloody hell. I've got to do this bit all again. I'm losing all my life and energy. This looks early 84. Hey, FC Den Hog, welcome back, mate. Johnny Boy had this on his specky. More than loved this game at the time. Oh. How did you get across there? No idea how to get there. Maybe got to go round underneath or something. I have to admit, guys, this is not. This is not. Magic Knight is exhausted. The game has ended. as much objects as possible and use them to escape the castle, I think, FC Den Haag. Oh, trader's room. Uh, seeds trade. The trader's stocks. Gordon's foot. Magic Knight games though. Difficult to know what's going on with all the objects being in triangle, being triangles. Ah, okay. I don't know if I was meant to trade anything there or not. I don't know. In a chamber. We can't get up there. Oh, we might be able to get up this way. Okay, good, good, good. Hey, my chicken not raw. Hello, dude. It's good to see you again, matey. How have you been? Examine. You found iron mace. I think we ought to get that. Oh, there we go. You found a hairy dog. Well... We've got a hairy dog. <laughs> right, examine this. You found the silver goblet. Your hands are full. I think we ought to get the silver goblet, so...
probably want to drop the cat meat. I bet that's not going to be of much use. So we've dropped the cat meat there. Nothing within reach. Right, we've got the silver goblet then. And we'll, leave the, we'll leave the cat meat there. Why on earth would you want cat meat? I, I have no idea. Right. I can't get up there. There's an item... See what this item is. A blacksmith. I have no idea where to go. I have no idea how to get past those. I think Rachel Lynn said get past those blue dots, but I couldn't seem to jump any. Oh, God. Not sure I like the game design of this. Like, how do I get back here without taking huge amounts of damage? What am I missing here or going wrong? Save state with that jump. Ah! Bloody hell. You can't get past that. I'm sure you need to open that grill below your feet or something. Uh, uh, surely it's impossible to reach that. Maybe you need to open that grill there, that blue grill, and then go down and under and round and up and there. And you might, might be a... Oh. Underneath that tunnel, yeah. Yes. Go underneath by a left and jump up to the right. We'll have a little explore, then we'll probably have to move on soon. <laughs> oh, Crazy Borg! Did I miss Crazy Borg? I'm saying, I thought Crazy Borg went a while ago. Oh, ah, yes, no, of course not. He's still there. So I'm off for the good night, everyone. Thank you, Crazy Borg. Nice to have you here again, mate. And uh, thank you for the dono as well. Um, all of, if you ever need to chat, mate, the DM's always open. So uh, take care, dude. And thank you again, mate. Lovely seeing you pop in again. Um, oh, the Kim. So how do we... Oh, gone this way. Right, let's examine that quickly. You found a carving knife. Right, we got it. Hey, Matt THX! How you doing, dude? Some Zaya glass of stout and pork scratchings after finishing on Encore Ship is a real pleasure. Never got far in Fighters Keepers as a kid. Hey, Matt! How you doing, Matt? <laughs> that, so that sounds nice, dude. Glad work's over for you, though. How you doing, mate? Uh, this is a game I've never played before. I was never very much interested in these sort of single screen platformer adventure type games. Oh! Oh, it scrolls! What the fuck? Well, it's not scrolling brilliantly, but I'll take it. So we're now in a maze. Sage's Stone. Alright, we'll take that. What's up here? Uh, excuse me, guys. Right, we found a pile of mud. I think we'll leave that. Love your shows. Though. Oh, thank you, Matt. That's very kind of you to say so. Where do we go next, guys? Does anybody know? <laughs> Oh, Johnny Boy, sorry I missed you there, mate. It says, I'm wrecked. Cheers for the streams, I've heard. Take care, all having a cracking weekend. You have a great weekend too, Johnny Boy. You might have gone already, but thanks for tuning in, dude. 
And uh, you can tell I'm getting tired, so I'm, miss I'm missing like things like that there. Oh, Maud says, I think there's a big cat later, so we need to have a the cat buzz. Oh, blimey. Okay. Oh, this was the first of the nighttime Spellbound games. Oh, was it? I thought it was like somewhere in between. That was the edge of the maze there. A lead bar. So there's all these objects, I've no idea what they do. Although we might know what the cat foot does later. Excuse me. Okay, we'll have a little look down here. Avoid the snapping burger. Is that the exit? Do you need maybe you need a key for it? It's around here somewhere. Oh I've no idea how to get there. Uh, unless anyone can help me out here about where to go, what to do next, I think I'll probably best move on, otherwise I'm just gonna run around in circles doing bugger all basically. I'm going to leave out there, unless anyone's got any uh, quickly going to come in with like, hey, so you need to go here, do this, do that, then uh, we'll, 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 we'll move on. Alright, let's do one for Retro on Lim. He wanted... Oh, hang on, sorry. Uh, I remember drawing the maze out when I was a kid. Oh, actually, I tell you what we'll do. I tell you what we'll do. We'll see if there's a, um, a map for this on the CPC Power website. And let's actually see how big the game is. Oh, that's a bit loud. Put you down there. Right, let me get the browser capture up here. So look at Finders Keepers. Has this got a map? It hasn't, but maybe the Spectrum site has. Often they're identical, the Spectrum and Amstrad versions, in terms of layout and stuff. Uh, let's look at the Specky version. How long's the long play? Oh, bloody hell, you can beat it in 11 minutes! Oh, here's a, here's a Specky sc a map. doesn't look that big, does it? But, like, imagine trying to work all this out as a kid. Yikes. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Not as big as you remember, but... There's all of these um, items and stuff like that. Like you gotta, how do you know which ones will do which? Oh look, there's the cat that uh, Maud. I think was it Maud was talking about. The big boss, the big puss without boots. So obviously you drop the um, must drop the cat food there, and uh, the cat, the giant cat will let you out. So there you go. <laughs> Let's find us keepers. <laughs> All right, let's do one for Retro and Lim. He's asked for either Beverly Hills Cat, uh, Ye Are Kung Fu 2, oh God, or Beachhead 2. Which one will we choose? We won't have time for uh, all three. What's Beverly Hills Cat like? I might play that. Uh oh I don't seem to have that.
Oh, do you mean Top Cat in Beverly Hills Cats? Is that the one? Hey, Rainer, take care. Good night. Have a lovely weekend, Rainer, and we'll see you soon. Um, so, uh, was that Top Cat uh, retro on them you wanted? Yeah, okay, I'll see if I've got it. I'll have a quick look. Top cat. Yeah. I don't remember this being particularly good though, Retro and Limp. <laughs> we'll have a look. Nice loading screen there though. That's kind of nice. Uh, okay, I recognise some of the names there. Offer did some decent games to high tech these guys, but if I remember, this one wasn't so good. Right, joystick. That was a brilliant cartoon for its time, anyway. <laughs> Won't hear anything about that. Hit fire to start. What are we doing? Uh, collecting fruit, I think. Avoiding the birds. I don't remember this guy. Oh. What? Fire? I don't know what fire does there. You have to pause the game when I, I, I get stuck on this thing. Hang on, didn't we pick up this something like this object before? How do I, uh, I... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, Wayne says, uh, sorry, Sam said you'll watch one of your Sam streams when Count Duckula is on it. <laughs> is she still awake at the moment? Look at the... Maybe put it on. Retro Lynn, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, every time I hit the fire button, this thing happens. I'll go through there. Oh, that's where we've just been, isn't it? Right, okay. I mean, graphics are sort of alright, but where's the top cap music? That's one of the best things about the bloody game. Again, I can't pick up that fruit. So I don't know what's going on there. Oh, is it... Look, there's one of the cats. Do we have to rescue them? Oh, I picked up one of my gang members. Right, okay. Oh, that picked up the milk. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> How you doing again, buddy? Oh, I love the Doom Guy avatar as always. Okay, that's a dead end. Right. Just seems to be a lot of wandering around aimlessly. Oh! Fire button did collect that item that time. So no idea what the problem was there. The dog here. And the dog drains my energy. Oh my god, the game the, the game's corrupted. Oh dear. 
<laughs> I, I, I did reset the Amstrad then, it reset itself. Well, that was an absolute pile of arse candle, to, to steal one of Anna's phrases. Could be a bad dump there of the game though, of course, as well. So, uh, yeah, that's not great. We haven't had much Joe Blade, actually. Wayne, no. Oh, she's downstairs watching telly. All right, perhaps best not disturb her at nearly two in the morning then. Um, I'll have to get try. Oh, um, we'll have to get someone else's request in though. Um, so what else do we have? A Bactron, Shogun, Rick Dangerous, Robin Hood, the Young Ones, Wonder Boy in Monsterland. Oh, Raina's going to request Cave Mania. I wanted to check that out, but I think she... Oh, Raina, you've gone to bed now, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, lucky. Right. Hmm, okay. Um, let's do then... Sorry, I'm getting... Oh, I'm, lo I'm losing the plot now. I'm getting really tired. So, um, well, I'm going to have to finish soon. I'm going to try and get as much done as I can for you guys. Um, oh, God. Rick Dangerous will end up playing forever. Young Ones. Uh, someone asked some ask Young Ones. I can't remember if that ever came out on the Amstrad. <gasps> it did? No way. I think maybe someone jokingly requested this, but it does exist. Holy crap. It, you know this is going to be utter arse candle. So from a completely un unknown company called Orpheus. I'm just downloading the disc at the moment. There you go. There's no box art scans for it anywhere, so it probably sold about 10 copies. Young ones. There you go. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, can you choose your character? It'd be Vivian, Neil, Michael, Rick. <laughs> That's be Vivian. Six joystick, five keyboard. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh my god, we just got back over to 40 watching at <laughs> nearly two in the morning. That's pretty amazing. Anyway, enter fire start. I'm going to pause my music here. There's no, honestly, there's no music. Let's walk to the... Oh man, I really do want to pick up the what? Go to the living room. He can't even actually move your character. You just choose the room for him to go to. Right. There's no one to talk to. Walk to the... Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. I want to talk. Oh, God. He's going back. What is this? He doesn't want to talk to me. So I've only got three choices here. Action, talk, or walk. What the fart are we supposed to be doing? Go to the garden. Because Neil was moaning about a chainsaw or something. Is that all you can do? Action. Oh, something to do with a kitty cat. Kitty. I picked up a cage. Action. Open. And he... What was that? A sauce bottle or something? Deodorant, pick up. Smash! I 
completely brilliant. I'll close the cage. Bugs me that Rick has picked up the yogurt. Too heavy, heavy. Rick has closed the fridge. Why can't I walk anywhere? Before we could move the locations, right? Only I have the most irre I've got to pick up the deodorant. Options: deodorant. No. What is going on? So we've got to pick it up. Cage closed. Now we can. So after. So we have to be carrying a deodorant, and we have to close the cage, and now we can actually walk to somewhere. What is going on in this game? It's bizarre. Action. Cage deodorant. Kettle. We picked up the uh, the kettle. Action. Kettle. Gone. Oh, God. This is garbage, isn't it, guys? Bloody hell. You recognise the characters? Can the punk one eat the uh, smash up the television? <laughs> I mean, we could try. Let, let's walk to living room. Maybe we could smash the telly in there for FC for FC Den Hog. Action. TV. All we can oh all we can do is switch it on. He said something when I turned on the telly. Thank clear Mike is going to put down the bomb. Is your body getting spotted? Don't be what? I can't read half these things. They appear and disappear so quickly. Uh, what can we do the video? Smash it! You smashed. We we actually smashed something. That's good. I've no idea what's going on though. Oh, there's a chainsaw upstairs. I need to put the kid down the cassette. All right. So we can call someone. Let's call. Oh, uh, is that you, Vivian? Up yours, ugly. No new move till I close the Hoover. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. Ring, 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 ring. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. That is the young ones on the Amstrad. I have absolutely fr no freaking clue what's going on there. Oh, a young ones was massive in uh, the Netherlands too. Awesome. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> glad to hear it. <laughs> How do you score lose? I have no idea. I'll tell you what, we'll have a little look to see if uh, um, uh, see if this website's got any manuals for it. No, we haven't got a manual for it. Tipsy Power website still doesn't even have a scan of the box art. It's that rare. There's the advert for the game. Um, maybe the specy version out on the Spectrum website has got some instructions or something. It looks pretty similar to the Amstrad version. 
Someone's done a walkthrough of it. Oh my god, it took them 41 minutes to beat the game. Uh, loading screen, running screen. No one got the instructions for it. Let's have a look. At last, it says here, I'll read it out to you guys. At last, the young ones come to life on your computer screen. Watch Rick, Vivian, Mike, and Neil as they walk, talk, smash, burn, and battle through the hovel they call a home. You choose who you want to be, and the computer controls the other three. The game is superbly animated, with overwhelming graphics and sound. You will want to play the young ones until your brain burns out. Yeah, a load of crap there. So no, I uh, so not even the Spectrum site doesn't have the instructions unless it's on the poster or something. You got this poster with the game. That's delightful. I did hear something about ah, this rings a bell. Was I think there was like loads of problems with this, like getting this game done because I Ben Elton and Rick Mayo wanted to get all involved or something like that, and the other writer, and it all went tits up or something. It's forty nine ninety nine on eBay at the moment. Seriously, bloody hell. Hang on. I'll get it up on eBay. One sec. Amstrad the young uh, ones. Let's have a look. Don't see it, Retro on Limb. Not found it on eBay. Uh, searching for... Amstrad, the young ones, take off the, nothing found, nah, unless it's a Spectrum one, but uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think I'll be, I don't think I'll be purchasing this one anytime soon, even, even if it does, <laughs> alright, I have no idea what's going on and what you have to do, so we'll move on, I maybe got time for one more game quick uh, before we have to go. But it was interesting checking it out. It's nice to see um, something quite unusual and rare like this. One sold for 13 quid on the June 27th, but not great con condition. Oh, I could perhaps look for like finished, uh, uh, completed items, sold items. Oh, yeah, you found it, Wayne. Yeah, yeah, I found it too now. There we go. Oh, there's one sold for $9.99 as well. Oh, it's just a poster. Have a look at the original listing. Oh my god, that's a tatty box. <laughs> it looks like it has been in the young one's house. For a f I see there on the box there, on, on the back it says for a free hint sheet send a stamped address envelope to the address below. So well, like basically you had to like send the instructions in the mail. Oh. There you go. So that went for uh, thirteen pounds. There you go. And someone bought the poster for $9.99 back in June as well. Right, there you go. 
poster is the best part of the game. <laughs> Maybe someone took it offline, Retro Name, if you saw it, like the other day or something. Oh well. Alright, well, what's the rest of the uh, request? We've got Yeehaw Kung Fu 2 back, VJ 2 back, Tron, Shogun, Rick Dangerous. Wonderboy Mon Wonder Monsterland goes on for absolutely forever as well. Uh, oh god, I'll, I'll have a look at Yeehaw Kung Fu 2 though. Not a great. Not a great game to finish the stream on, but there you go. You like the background music, it's like it's jolly and relaxed. It's a nice chilled bit of uh, synth wave here. We have a new top, top contender for crap game. Mm. Yeah, FC Den Hog Rick Mail passed away a few years ago. We're very, very sad loss. Very, very sad loss. One of the few celebrity deaths that I got really kind of like upset about. We did not see that coming. Anyway, one player. Uh, how do we jump? All right, okay, got it. I, uh, I don't, I don't know the controls for this. guy you fight that like farts at you how do we um, fight this guy then oh I got knocked out You just have to avoid all the uh, little enemies on the first few screens and get to the guy and fight him on the fourth screen. Right, how do you get into it, this guy to fight him? No! I'm nearly dead again. He got him. Oh, get bowl of noodles. Where? What? Where are the bowl of uh, bowl of noodles? And yes, the music's by twenty four seven. There's a link in the chat. Oh, sorry, link in the description uh, for his music. You can go check out his Bandcamp page. I'm glad you enjoy it, Matt. I do too. We're looking forward to his third album. It's nearly, nearly, nearly done, but he became a dad for the first time, so he's on daddy baby duty at the moment. This is ER Kung Fu 2, sorry. If I uh, didn't, didn't make that clear earlier. Oh no, I didn't want to jump there. And it's poop. What? That took, I took damage for something that was in the opposite direction. Nice game. I mean, how the fuck are you supposed to fight this guy? Uh, let's put the link there. Where did I? I, I had the link handy. Yeah, check out uh, Matt. Check out Twenty Four Seven here. You can get his tracks and listen to him on his Bandcamp page as well. There you go. Right. 
What am I doing wrong here fighting this guy? And then uh, Retro and Lim Mord or anyone else that knows this. I remember playing this on an AM stream previously, and I, I, I think I flew my way through it and got to like level. Oh, combo. You've just got to get in close to him and then just beat the crap out of him. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. We were doing all right there. Yeah! Also, I have my sound in the, in the emulator quite low. Hang on. Oh, there was a tiny bit of music there. Barely anything there. And you can just jump through these sections, basically, can't you? God, she's done some... She, she's given me some damage. Oh, there's a bit of music here. Oh, the controls are so laggy. Oh, oh, she was quite low on energy. More there's no clue on this one. I don't... <laughs> yeah, no, no politics. I think she's glitched. What's that thing falling from the sky? What does that give us? See how bad the collision detection is as well. How hit and miss it is. Well, that was easy peasy. <laughs> Like with all of them, just getting close and just uh, kick, the, kick, the, kick the crap out of them. Oh, I see. It's FC Denog, yeah. Oh, look. This bad guy is like, um, like got all messed up. He's not attacking me. What's going on? Have I broken the game? Does this ever happen to you, Retro on Limb? Oh. Well, let's hope the boss is like glitched again. On stage four. Moving at the moment. Flying kick near didn't get him. Mm. 
Wow, he absolutely kicked my ass there. Supposedly a sequel FC Den Haag. But it's frankly embarrassing compared to the first game. How Ocean thought they could put this crap out, I have no idea. This guy seems susceptible to punches. As do all the characters, but more so this guy. No, 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 no! I was getting close to... I was getting close to beating him there. God damn it. Kick to the chops there, nice. Yeah, uh, Lucas. Yeah, I should be should be spinning on maybe, but uh, I'm probably going to spit after this, so uh, might as well just finish where I've got to. See how far I can get. No, don't face that way, idiot. Look how much energy just took off there. I think that's me out anyway. Did you just get the uh, <laughs> game over text? That's it. Alright. Can't remember this game at all. I think most people have want to want to have forgotten it deliberately. Uh Andrew. It's not a great game. Not a great game. Um Alright, we'll do one more before I finish, I think. Um since we've still got over 30 people in. Uh Right. Yeah, Kung Fu 2. That was Retro on Limbs request as well. Two crap games. Thank you for that. This didn't have an arcade version, just the original one did. Yeah, Kung Fu. Uh, it was Bactron, Shogun, Rick Dangerous, Robin Hood, and Wonder Boy. Have a look at Bactron quick before we go. That's a good game. If you haven't seen this one, I thoroughly recommend checking it out. I think I'm loading up the French disc version. I'll see if I've got the UK disc. Ooh, Ooh nice music here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Tired. What's Tune, rock and roll. All right, all right. So up to go, upright. Okay. I think what we're gonna do is keep the patient alive. So essentially, we are. Oh. All right. Uh, okay. Looks like we can't do anything of those bugs. So we're inside a patient's body, and we need to get rid of the virus, I believe. Oh. If I sit at an angle, this might help me get used to the controls here. <laughs> oh, 
can't remember what you need to do. Nice animation on the sprite there, though. I like that. Lovely use of colours. Oh, we need to collect these yellow blocks or something. It's coming back to me a bit. I think I just died. Yikes. Oh, don't call it that, Retron Limb. <laughs> yeah, I think I have played this before. It was a while ago. I think I def it definitely has been played on an AM stream. Probably a request night. You gotta activate all these. I think they're called. I think. I think. I think the game calls them white, white blood cells or something to fight off the infection. Uh, I. It's got me stuck there. I can't get out. I'm. I'm literally trapped and dying here. Oh, I'm out. Now we need to find more of those uh, yellow blocks. Oh, okay, we can move stuff across the floor. I don't know if that'll be handy here or not. Okay. The green bugs. Oh, the patient's heart rate's just gone up. Whether you can hear that or not. Are those bad things? I just did. I don't know. I seem to be losing energy touching them. So perhaps they, they, those are things I wasn't supposed to touch. And I just died again. So I don't really know what we're supposed to be doing here. We've got some rough idea. Looks very nice though. Oh, look at that. You can rearrange blocks. Can you? Can't pull them onto another screen. So, what would you be doing with this block here? God knows. <laughs> okay. Go away. yeah nice game but I, I i i'm gonna need to read the instructions and i think they're only in french so oh i'm gonna die there wonderful and got to a dead end right okay so that's look that's interesting game um let's have a catch up with the chat there uh, what is this creepy looking? <laughs> I reckon in reference, Pac Man is looking odd these days. Um, oh, this is called Bactron, uh, Anna. Sorry if I didn't mention the title fully earlier. Bactron. I don't think this got a release in the UK. Uh, let's have a quick look on the uh, website. Uh, right, Bactron. <laughs> Look at his happy face. Oh, this did get a, a UK release. Oh, I think it's very, very rare. Uh, what what you have here is a medicine. A medicine is not just an ordinary product; it affects you, uh, you and your health. It's power factor and it's essentially dangerous to get the rich. Oh, what? Okay, this is the very first antibiotic software. With its help, awaken the Bactron within you. Bactron is the virus's worst enemy and has, has been knocking about your body since your birth. The Bactron has already saved your life many times and now you're very ill. Mac the Macrophage, Steffi the... What? Steffi the Staphylococcus. Dot, Speck and all the others are too strong for guy. Bactron through the maze of organs and arteries. It's going to release all the healing enzymes trapped in the yellow cubes scattered through your body. Yellow cubes, we activated one earlier. 
Just remember that you're the first person in the world to guide a Bactron. It's very addictive. It could become a drug. Do not exceed the stated dose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, society's that, mate. It's a CPC Power website. It's probably the hub of all Amstrad... Uh, the, the main game base site. It's in French, a lot of it, but you get used to it. No, like, someone's got a map here. Uh, I don't know if that's that helpful to me. It doesn't look like a particularly big map either, so it seems to be quite completable. You reckon that looked like OSG, did you? <laughs> uh, uh, Matt says the main sprite looks like uh, looks chicky, a, a weird chicken thing. My three-year-old son likes chicky. I've not heard of that, but. <laughs> Hey, Wayne, yeah, I'd love to go and see Bill and Ted free. Um, isn't it out right now? Like, the next couple of days or something like that? Or is that in America? But I don't know if I want to go to the cinema right now. It won't be the same with all the restrictions and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I might do. I might do, Wayne. You have to let me know. I might have, we might have to meet up or something, go to the cinema to see it or something. It seems you're not far from me. I'm looking forward to uh, I'm looking I'm looking forward to uh, Bill and Ted Free, very very much so. Um, so there you go, that's Bactron there. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it there, guys. It's getting late, really really late, and I need to get to bed. So um, let me um, um, let me uh, roll the credits if I've got that handy. Live actions. There we go. Should, should work. Although we're going to miss a few people off the credits tonight. A couple of people because the, like, the end donors didn't seem to come through at all. So apologies for that. But thank you very much for everyone tuning in tonight. It is uh, really, really greatly appreciated. Um. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you had a good time tonight. I'm, I'm really tired, guys. My mind is just all over the place at the moment. I can't focus. Um, thank you, there for the uh, downloads and super chats. Uh, there was some, there are some that are missing on that list there that just didn't come through, sadly. But I, I, they did come through to me directly. Blah, blah, blah. Just the alerts didn't. Uh, oh, send us a link, mate. Yeah, sure. No, 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 no problem. Um, for example, here's the page for Bactron, uh, Lucas. There you go. And then obviously just go to the main CPC Power website from that. Search any Amstrad game you want. Um, it's a brilliant website. Yes, it's in most mostly in French, but you get used to it. So if you click these icons at the top here, you can get what you want. Manual, the package as in the box art, map scans, adverts, reviews in magazines, and then most importantly, the disc files there, if you see that there. But there you go, Lucas. That's your hub. Thank you, everyone. Um, thank you, Andrew Poller. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Texi. Thank you, FC Denhag. Maud. Bippy Stopper. <laughs> Lucas. Anna. Retro and Lim. I hope you enjoyed what we did tonight, guys. A little bit different to usual, but um, there you go. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and have a fantastic weekend. What probably won't be a long plane review video on Monday. We'll see. But um, busy weekend ahead. But also, I'm working on a big, big thing about the Jigs 4000 for the channel. So uh, I might have to direct my efforts towards that, getting that done. But otherwise, uh, I'll be streaming on Twitch on probably at least Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week as well on the Amstream. We'll be definitely playing on Amstream next Friday. Have an awesome weekend, guys. Lots of love to you all. And thanks for being such a wonderful, positive, welcoming, and just all round awesome community. I appreciate it. Lots of love to you all. Take care, guys. Good night and goodbye. <laughs>